At least you could say thank you. Thank you, Flannel. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> we can share the waifu. Oh, I had one already. I have no reason to share. Oh. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, God, it's so salty. Oh, it's so salty. Oh, God. Oh, it's so salty. Please call out for Fernando again. No, Fernando's got to wait. My mouth is very salty right now. Oh, look, it's Fernando's brother. Ferdinand. Oh, God, my mouth is so salty right now. Fernando! Oh, God. Oh. Welcome back to Caesar. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Caesar's doing a little dance in this clip. Not this clip. No, no, this is a good clip. Look, Caesar's dancing. Look at that beautiful dance. Look at that beautiful dance. That absolutely beautiful dance. Oh, Booba. Bo Booba, Booba did? Wait, what? Booba? What? Are you smooch? Is it gonna happen? Oh! Oh! They smooched! They smooched! Oh shit! Oh my god, they smooched! Everything's coming! Yeah, I'm Giga Chew! Oh! Oh, romance! Romantic rumblings! They smooched! Oh my god, they smooched! They did it! The act one! Oh my god, they smooched! I it happened! Yes, man. very cute moose. Make all the boy moose go. I can't, I can't handle this much passion. This is too much passion. This is too much for the, for the J Chili Valentine's, but this is too much. I could try to figure out what that sound clip was. I was like, what is happening? Oh, it's very cold here. That's why I need to romance so many many of these strapping young lads. Oh like yes. Fever is this ghost pepper? This is ghost pepper. Ah oh, yes, there's ghost pepper. He's one of the strapping young lads that I'm trying to romance. <laughs> 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 yes, he's one of the strapping young lads. I'm trying to roll as Ghost Pepper. <laughs> you lied to me, baby! You fucking lied to me! Dad, Daddy Baker. Oh, no, that's a whole different section, man. That's in the old house. Are you talking about when Mia's chasing you with the chainsaw? Jack. Yes, yeah, Jack. Not Daddy Baker. Jack Baker. <laughs> Although, from here on out, we'll refer to him as Daddy Baker. <laughs> the ultimate plot twist. <laughs> no, no, where are you going? Go home. You've got the milk. Go home. It's fine. It's fine. You vandal. It's fine. You vandalized the mailbox. It's fine. Go home. It's fine. It's too late. It's already the, the the damage is already done. Go home. It's already done. Go home. It's too late. Go home. You no. It's done. Go home. Leave the scene of the crime. What's he doing? What is he doing? Go home. Damn it. No, where'd it go? I wanted the licky licky. Highlight. Why am I naked? <laughs> Why am I naked? It's four hours in the drug souls. Why am I naked? Why has this happened? What's going on? What is happening? Who are these? Who are these bird people with knives? Why do they keep attacking me? What is going on? All the people that said, okay, ship it. Why are you hiding from me? We're what Roxy, we're watching the credits.
<laughs> Gentle yeah, wake minute. up. Hey, Wheatley. Imagine this scenario. You're streaming a late night session of Final Fantasy, and you've got a plate of hot dogs next to you. If the hot dogs were characters in Final Fantasy, who would they be? And which one do you think would be the ultimate party member? Ah, imagine me streaming Final Fantasy, that's a good one. Well, let's see. If the hot dogs were characters, the plain one would be like your generic warrior. Okay. Nothing special. The one with mustard, now that's your classic black mage. Okay. A little spicy and full of flavor. Okay. The one with all the toppings, definitely the ultimate party member, like a summoner with all the flashy abilities. Mm. Just don't get too attached. They might be devoured before the final boss. Oh no! Cheers! <laughs> Well, that was a good response. That was a good one. I like that. That was a good response. Uh, okay, here we go. We got jokes. Jokes with Clarence. Uh, here we go. Uh, here we go. Here's the, here's a good one. Here's a good one for you. Who who stole the fish? The robber ducky. <laughs> I, I gotta go. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, night owls. Hello. Hello, we're here. It's late. It's later than I would like it to be to start. But hello, we're here. My internet's alive again, and we're here. How's everybody doing? How y'all doing? How's everybody? How's everybody feeling? How y'all doing? Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, one and all. Welcome to the stream. Night owls. Well, it's later than we usually start. This is later than we usually start two hours ago. You caught a shiny today. Ooh, shiny what? Hi, Darth Bane. How are you, my friend? No, Darth Bane, you're awesome. How dare you? You're awesome. You are awesome, my friend. And you're loved and the world is be a better place because you're in it, my friend. How dare you? How dare you turn positivity around on me? I'm the one who's supposed to tell y'all that you're awesome. You're awesome, Darth Bane. You caught a shiny hippopotamus, like an actual hippopotamus. Is there are there hippopotamuses, hippopotami in Canada? Y'all have hippopotami? Y'all got hippopotami up there in Canada? Do you just catch like one a shiny one out in your yard? What's going on up there in Canada? <laughs> You've got house hippo. I no. No, we're not doing this again. No. No, we're not doing the, we're not doing the house hippos thing again. We're not doing the house hippos thing again. <laughs> Flannel had me watch that video. We're not doing it again. It's every night. Every night from 8 p.m. until almost 11 p.m. Whatever is causing it, they don't, they're trying to find what's causing it. It's not m anywhere in my house. There's some, they think it's someone who's got like some kind of signal, like some kind of timer that's sending out a signal that's interfering with their internet. Like the internet in the area. Because it happens every night at the same time. I had an entire fleet of trucks for my internet provider here today. There were four trucks at my house today. Yeah, it's happening at the exact same time. They think it's someone that has like a timer set for something that goes off at like 8 p.m. and it's sending out a signal that's like, uh, like causing interference with the like the internet. Uh, and it's only affecting my up like the upload speed in our they call it a node. Um, because it's only affecting our node, so they're gonna have people out the next two nights because they don't usually have people out at night which is why i guess it's taking so long they usually only have people during the day who are out um but they're gonna have people out the next two nights and i was gonna switch to a different provider but when i called they were like oh yeah it'll take us like two weeks to get somebody out there maybe we can get someone next week i was like god damn it by then maybe they'll figure it out uh I am still unsure if I am getting any kind of refund. I still don't have any information on that. They claim that they're putting in for me to get a refund, but I haven't gotten any confirmation on it. 
I am pushing for a refund though. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm pushing for it, but I haven't gotten like confirmation on it. Send him the stern brows. We'll send them the stern bootleg Pikachu brows. I'll print it out and I'll send it in the mail to them. Um, so I don't have everything set up. Uh, I still don't have a second screen set up. Uh, so if you anyone redeems like a stream loot card that's like to draw a picture or watch a video or anything, I'm going to have to send that back because they were here again today and I had to disconnect everything again. Um, so I don't have all of my cables reconnected yet. The only thing that's hooked up right now is the PlayStation for the game that we're playing tonight, which is Honkai. Um, so I don't have everything rehooked up yet. Um, because I don't know if they're going to be coming back again tomorrow or I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So I didn't hook everything back up again and then have to hook uh, disconnect it all again. <sighs> so it's been a kind of a headache, but. We're getting there. We're, I guess they're trying to figure it out. I'm just hoping it gets figured out sooner than later. You once had to spend two hours on the phone with your ISP explaining to me that they had to try to... Wait, they had to try to illegally steal from you. Wait, what? You wish the Twitch app didn't suck ass. Explaining to them. Wait. Wait. Explaining to them that they had to try to illegally steal... Wait, well, explaining to them that they had to try to illegally steal from you. Hold on, I'm confused. Hang on. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> well, I read it the way it was written at first, but then Megan put explaining to them. So I don't know if that was supposed to be a correction. I read it the way that it was written the first time. Um, so there's a good chance that I'm going to throw some question marks on the schedule because I don't know what times the stream is going to start over the next couple days. It might be closer to this time because it seems like it's every night at like 8 p.m., which is when we're supposed to start until like this time is when it seems to level out, which is why they think it's someone that has like some kind of timer that's going off that's sending out like some kind of signal. Uh, once upon a time, your ISP showed up at your house with a deal to sign up for something and told you that if you quit after a month, you could keep the money from the promo and get free internet for a month. Ooh. This is verbatim what they told you. So you signed up for the service and put the money toward your internet bill and quit after a month like they told you, and the ISP tried to charge you $200. Holy shit. That's crazy. See, that's why I'm so nervous about, like, even switching ISPs, because, like, before this, I've never had issues with this ISP. It's always been really good. Um, but I'm like, shit, well, if I switch, I don't know what I'm going to be involved in. Because, like, before this, we've never had an issue. Other than, like, once in a while, we'll have, like, the internet go down. And I think feel like that's normal for any internet provider. Um, I've never had any issues. They don't, like, limit, like, the usage or anything like that. Um, so I've never had an issue before. Uh, so you called them and you were like, this is not what I was told would happen by the people who came to your door. And the manager repeated what they said to you and was like, people, uh, said to me and was like, people would just do that. So you had to spend two hours on the phone with the manager explaining that people from his company came to your house and told you to do that. And that his company was stealing from me by going back on that contract. Yeah. I hope they ended up giving you the money back. I hope you got your money back. Because that's fucked up. What was in, like, was it in the contract that you were able to do that? Like, the contract you signed, was that in the contract? Because if you signed the contract, that's like, I imagine it's the same in Canada, that it's a legally binding contract. Yeah, and also I hope you kick their asses. Oh, it's only a verbal contract. That makes it more of a pain in the butt. Because then it's like... You don't have anything in writing. You did get your money back, though. Hell yeah. I'm glad you got your money back. Yeah, that makes it more of a pain in the butt if it's a, like a verbal contract and not in writing anywhere. 
Um, but the other internet provider in my area now is Comcast Xfinity. And I know um, Dad, ATM Zero, had a bunch of issues with them when they before they moved. Um, which is another reason I'm a little bit like... I kind of wish y'all would just figure this shit out so I don't have to switch. Because I don't want to... I don't want to risk that being a whole nother headache. Uh, okay, wait. Do I have everything I need? Oh, hold on. Give me one second. One second. Okay, we're good. I'm back. Uh, you did get your money back, and you know what? Six months after that happened, there was a major lawsuit that the consumers won that states that if the ISP sends someone to your house and makes a promise, they are law-bound to abide by the verbal con. Hell yeah! I feel like they should be required to put anything like that in writing so that you have it in writing. No, don't panic. It's okay, Carly, don't panic. Don't panic. Yeah, I feel like it should be required to be put in, in writing so that you have something in writing. So you can be like, nope, boop, it's right here. Boop. Here it is. It's in writing. So that you always have something to show. Uh, since then, you refuse to speak to people from that specific company. If you come to your door, you send them away. I don't blame you if you had a, like a, a bad experience. Don't go back to that company. Like, I don't have, like, the folks from, um, like, all the technicians and everything that are trying to fix the stuff from my internet provider have been, like, very helpful. Um, and they're pushing for me to get my money back for, like, all the time that I've been missing. But I guess it falls to, like, the, the folks that are, like, the management. Because they're just the folks that go out and, like, fix the shit. Um, they're, like, the folks who have been to my house. So they're putting in, like, all the paperwork to do everything they can to make sure I get my money back. Or make sure I don't get charged, because I don't think I got charged yet for this month. Uh, ironically, they are the IS... They are our ISP right now, but only Ghost speaks to them. Yeah, have Ghost... Have Ghost give them the ghostly punch. That's Ghost's signature move now. The ghostly punch. Ghostly punch! Did Ghost ever put on his snowshoes and go down to the pecan store? Whatever happened, did you get your pecans? Your pecan pie? I forget, was it pecans or pecan pie? What, what, was, what were you supposed to get? <laughs> he didn't, no! <laughs> I don't remember what I wanted Ghost to get. Was it a pie or pecan? It was a pie. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, the condition of us going back to that company was all the communication would flow through him. Because you will never deal with them again. I don't blame you. We're peeing in cans. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hang on. Hold the phone. Hold on. No. Pecan. We're also not going to the pecan. That's not, we're, that's like a convention for people that are really into peeing. We're not going there either. No, thank you. <laughs> that sounds messy. I hope they put like a lot of plastic down at that convention. Or like some tarps. Otherwise, that's going to be a whole mess to clean up. Why, why did we say pecan? We're talking about pecan pies. No, 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 it's pecan. Pecan pie. Pecan pie. Delicious pecan. I mean, I don't know if it's delicious. I've never had pecan. I've never had a pecan pie. <laughs> I've always, everybody here everybody around here pronounces it pecan. I have always heard, I think it's a regional thing. 
how the different ways of pronouncing P in. Yeah, see? How to pronounce the word pecan. It's either pecan, most dominant for all. Oh, apparently that's the most dominant, but it's also pecan, most dominant on the East Coast. Guess where I live? Guess, guess where I live? On the East Coast of Oklahoma. I am on the East Coast. Pecan. Most dominant on the East Coast. Oh, but wait. Apparently popular in areas like Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, and Mississippi. It pronounces it pecan. Pick, pick, pecan. No, pecan. Pecan. Maybe I need to start with Oklahoma. Maybe I need to start pronouncing it pecan. Pecan. Because I'm from Oklahoma. Pecan. You get a nice pecan pie. <laughs> Ideals. <laughs> pecan. We're going to get you a pecan pie. <laughs> and apparently in the air in the areas like upper the upper peninsula of michigan wisconsin and northern M minnesota they really emphasize the p p con they just really emphasize the p they want you to know that there's p in there <laughs> are you glad i looked this up There's a whole website. It's the website Pecan Nation. There's an entire website. This is a whole website. Hi, Sensational. There's an entire website for it. Holy Pecan. shit. There's a whole website. Holy shit. I can't believe there's a whole website. Pecan. I'm from the East Coast. They say pecan. I love that it says specifically the East Coast, which is where I'm from. Pecan, 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 <laughs> pecan, 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 uh, Moose, your friend says that it's highly likely someone is using an internet jammer to keep everyone else from using the internet at the same time as them, or at a specific time. Would that only interfere with upload speed? Because it's only affecting our upload speed. It's not affecting our download speed. Like, it's specifically the upload speed. <laughs> no, Carly. <laughs> yeah, it's only my upload speed. Well, they're gonna, they have, they're gonna have folks out tonight. They said they were gonna be out tonight and tomorrow. And they have like something that they can use to try and like triangulate where it's at. Um, and they said it has to be a customer that's on uh, our like our ISP. And if they find out who it is, they're gonna like shut them down until they they stop doing whatever is causing the interference. Because it's only in our area. Um, the reason it's taken so long for them to like figure it out is because not a lot of a not a lot of it's happening at like a non dominant time like not a lot of people are using like upload at 8 to 11 o'clock at night or like 8 to 2 a.m. at night when I do because most people then are like we're gonna watch TV and go to bed and it's not affecting that shit uh, and also um, not a lot of people do stuff that's like super intensive using upload it's mostly like you're watching netflix which uses your download speed so i was probably the only one that was complaining for a long time because everything that i do streaming wise uses upload uh, he says anything is technically possible or well, anything is technically possible if you know what you're doing but he isn't totally sure i don't know either i do know they're trying to figure it out um i hope they figure it out soon because otherwise I'm going to have to look into a different provider. But no matter what, it's going to take me 
a little bit of time to get things situated. So you may see the times on the schedule change over to question marks. And I will just go live as soon as I can on those on the nights until everything's figured out. It's oh, it's not only affecting me, it's affecting everybody in my general area uh, on our, our internet service provider. So it's like this. I think they said it's like a three or four block radius around us. Like they have the actual like graph. They showed me graphs, which I didn't really care about. I just wanted them to fix it. They kept showing me graphs. I didn't care about the graphs. I just wanted them to fix it. <laughs> they kept showing me this graph and they were like, yeah, look, look this is where it's dipping. And I was like, that's nice. Just fix it. <laughs> cool, cool story. Just, just make it stop doing that. I don't want to see the graph. I want to see it not do it anymore. <laughs> the guy here yesterday was very insistent on showing me the graph. Like he really wanted me to look at the graph. Like he was going back several weeks on the graph and I was like, yeah, I'm well aware. I, I was here. I was here when it was happening. I, I don't need to see the graph. I was experiencing it. <laughs> they said it shouldn't be affected by folks using a lot of upload. So they said that shouldn't affect it. Because that, that was my concern when it started was that it was caused by like a lot of people using like more internet because it was around the holidays. Um, and I even asked them that and they said, no, it shouldn't be that. Um, because I guess like everybody's has like a certain allocation for how much like internet goes out to them. Um, so they said that that shouldn't affect it, but they said it could be anything like if somebody has like a frayed line in their house or like they just have to triangulate where the, like what house it's coming from. So it could be almost anything they said, but it's not here. They checked all my shit. It's not like I'm golden it's not anywhere in my house they checked all my shit they put new lines in they put a new modem in i'm golden it's not me uh, what are we doing tonight other than talking about pecan pie and pea conventions and the logistics of them needing tarps um oh well, we're gonna play honkai star rail <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, no, it's, it's, it's not just affecting me though, deals. It's affecting everybody in our, in our, they can call it a node. So it's like everybody in our, who's, who's connected to the, the node in our area and like on my, like the four block radius. So it's not just me. Um, it's cable. It's not DSL. DSL is not good. I used to be on DSL years ago. I, I don't think I could stream on the DSL internet we have here because it's really slow. We have Verizon DSL and it's really, really slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. They said that, that it shouldn't be affected by like folks using it. I don't know. They said that that's not a concern. They said that it's something interfering with the signal. Like that's coming because I asked them that if it's someone that's using like a lot of it. And they said that they don't, that that's not something that generally should affect the speed. Because <laughs> it seems like it's something that's interfering with the signal. But I don't know. They're figuring it out, though, I guess. And if they're not figuring it out by probably Friday, I will be setting up for a new service. Because they said they're going to be out and about tonight and tomorrow. And if it's still happening on Friday, I don't think I'm going to have a choice. Because this has been going on for over a month now. It's been going on too long. Too, too long. 
Yeah, it's weird that it happens at like the same time every night. That's what I guess makes them think that it's something that someone has like on a timer that's sending out like a signal. That's like interfering. Because it happens from like 8 p.m. until almost 11 p.m. every night. And it's been like the last four nights in a row at exactly that time. Which, like, the whole that happening at the exact same, same time is what's really weird to me. Well, let's play Honkai! We can chit chat while we play Honkai. Let's uh, get into some waifus. Wait, hold on, that sounds weird. Hold on, phrasing. Hold on. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Apple! <laughs> Why did Apple arrive at that moment? <laughs> no! <laughs> I need to plug my controller in. <laughs> no! <laughs> Apple, hi, Apple! <laughs> uh, Apple, how are you today? What did you do? Did you raid today? Did you play Final Fantasy? Did you make pasta? Here we go. Uh, what were we doing last time? I don't remember. We haven't played this in a couple days. Why is he sad? Why are you sad? Why is he sad? Yo, what's wrong? Almost ready to measure it. Oh no, failed again. Oh boy. Wait, hold Hang on, wait, what are you measuring? Hold on. Wait, uh... Pom-pom? Pom-pom-pom, -pom, what are you measuring? Hold on. I'm concerned. <laughs> Do you need a hand? <laughs> uh... All right. Great. Yes, please, Jolene. Pom Pom won't take up much of your time. March 7th said she was going to stitch some new clothes for me. Oh. So I wanted to measure my height to help her cut some clothes. Oh. Teehee, Pom Pom wonders what clothes they'll be. Can't wait. If you're ready, Jolene, come and measure Pom Pom. Stick it on the <laughs> Hold on. Stick it on the wall to get accurate reading, please. Stick, stick what on the wall? What are we sticking on the wall? Hold on. What am I sticking on the wall? Where am I putting it on the wall? What? Where? What? I don't know. What? Hold on. Height measurement. Uh, Jolene, uh, are you ready for your measurement? <laughs> I'm on my feet and ready. Just record the data truthfully, Jolene. You don't need to take into account my ego or think about adding a few inches of slack. Um, uh, I guess we truthfully measure and record the data, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to overinflate Pom Pom's ego. Let Pom Pom see. Whoa, my height hasn't changed at all since last time. Maybe I should increase my protein intake. In what way? Let's pencil in this data for now. Perhaps by the time March 7 starts cutting her cloth, Pom Pom will have grown a little more. I don't think so. I don't think that's how it works. I, I don't, I don't think that's, I don't think that's how it works. I don't, I don't think that's how it works. Hmm, how can a button be so stubborn? Uh, 
<laughs> got like a weird relationship going on, Pom Pom. That's my trailblaze level. Okay, apparently it's not high enough yet. We got like a weird relationship, Pom Pom. <laughs> not really sure what we got going on. Uh, we were working on this last time, I think. Pom Pom and I have some some weird tension that I don't know that I want to know about. <laughs> a flawless victory. Hope you got a glimpse of Herda's awesomeness, kiddo. Uh, I didn't. Were you there? I don't think you were there. Yo, were, were you even there? Mm, naturally. I couldn't care less about what happened with the space station, but I will surely repay the favor tenfold to anyone who dares to taunt me. I already notified someone at the IPC to freeze all her accounts. <laughs> She's probably crying in front of her computer right now. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, young madam. Your Stop calling me young madam. Contributions were a necessity to our victory. I don't like that. Do you have any other questions regarding this incident? Uh. Her ultimate goal was always the ether he, cartridge. He's not a robot. He's a person. An alternative objective in challenging Herta and me in the process. He's a person. All those complicated puzzles and unnecessary... He's a scientist. Nothing more than games, I'll wager. Yeah, I think it's a mask. He's a... Uh, What's-her-name's partner? Uh, Herta's scientist partner. If you are referring to the back doors Silver Wolf left behind, we have cleared out all of them, except for the one in the office. Don't worry. The space station is not as fragile as you think. Whether it's cosmic warfare or the incident that just took place, they're all within Herta's grand plan. Oh, she's got a plan? It doesn't seem like she has a plan. Please, ask away. <laughs> what do you plan on having for dinner? A medium rare kettle steak, salt baked Kalia lemongrass, Herman compound milk, and a portion of fried rice prepared by a certain young man on the station. Sounds really good. All I need is energy. Okay. The form that energy comes in is the same as it is for you. Okay. I would never forsake the delights of the culinary world in the interests of efficiency. Now, it is possible that my joints may need a little lubricant every now and again. Well, maybe he is part robot. Maybe he's like an alien, because we are in space. Maybe he's like an alien species. Certainly not. Although Madame Herta and I have our differences in terms of research direction, the simulated universe is our shared pursuit, and nothing will change that. On the contrary, I plan on staying here for a while to see up close what kind of surprises the new branch of the universe has in store for me. Oh, you're staying here. There is no one answer to that question, my friend. It holds a different meaning for everyone. To sentimental, organic life forms, it could be the first falling leaf in the change of seasons, or the marks carved onto someone through the passage of time. Oh. To the swarm that follows its instincts, it might be the sight of fresh meat in their compound eyes and the restless thirst for sustenance. Oh. And for me, Perhaps the image of symbols woven together, still able to move the heart. Something great that you call emotions. Oh, of course, it's very I've deep. also heard that the answer is nothing more than a two. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 42. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's all the questions. Our destination may differ, but there are still countless opportunities for our paths to cross. 
The pursuit of knowledge will always be the best driving force for trailblazing. Leonard. Uh, so, the reason Madame Herta wanted me to continue the investigation was to lure her out of hiding? That never crossed my mind! Did she know about the traps the hacker left in the space station from the very beginning? They're <laughs> the most fitting bait. <laughs> she said I did a good job. Can you believe it? I've just been acknowledged by Madame Herta. This is something I'll remember for the rest of my life. Yeah, yeah, she totally said that. I, I'm pretty sure she said you were bait. I don't have to worry about being fired anymore. I wouldn't count on that. This chapter has come to a conclusion. Come, let us close the final back door. Oh. Watch the image on the wall slowly dissolve and disappear, and that's the end of it. That's the end of it. Uh, it's gone. It's all gone. They seriously left nothing behind. They went too far this time. Too far. Uh, all right, all right. Stop with the tantrum. You're not a kid anymore. I am not throwing a tantrum. You're kind of throwing a tantrum. Uh-huh. Anyway, what are you gonna do now, huh? Hack an IPC branch nearby and get your accounts back? Ugh. <sighs> if it were just one or two accounts, sure. I kind of overdid it this time. I lost basically everything. A branch office probably won't be enough. I'm gonna have to make a trip to Pierpoint. What's Pierpoint? What, you're going alone? That's the IPC's headquarters. Yep. Just me. Why? Do you want to come with? I probably won't be able to. I'm in Elio's next script. Did you forget? Oh, Who's Elio? Right. That story doesn't sound like it fits me. You guys have fun. I hope you have a good time in Pierpoint as well. Don't worry. I've already got an idea. You see that cloud diner just two kilometers from here? A few temps from the building material logistics department just stepped in. I'm gonna go and become their friend. Oh. Getting a move on already. I would have thought you'd at least want to spend some time with that cartridge you were obsessing about. I told you. I'm not obsessed with it. Besides. Besides there's what? fun to be had along the way. Oh. Starts running through the effulgent night uh, neon lights just as she had left her home world that night, sprinting toward the stars. Starlight elongates her shadow, illuminating the history of Punk Lord. Those who pen the legends, their vows remembered by the stars. The earliest role playing gamer said, Games are about growth. The, tr the calm, tactical strategy gamer said, Games are about the victories. The rebellious collaborative gamer said, Games are about encounters. What? What is happening? The loving narrative gamer said, Games are about remembrance. And now, the young cosmic adventure gamer, she said, A game is a game, and that's all there is to it. Okay, that one's not as uh, thoughtful as the others. Silverwolf has become a visitor to the Express. You might come across... Oh. Okay, I was reading that, but now it's gone. Oh, Leonard. Hey, friend. You're still at the space station, right? I want to talk to you about something. <laughs> nope, already gone. <laughs> I love that we just have the option to be a complete ass to everybody. Uh, it's been a while since that incident. No, no, it's literally been like 10 seconds. Like, that incident just ended. We literally, literally. Leonard! Leonard, why did you put this all in one bed? This is a Taylor situation again. Leonard! 
<laughs> it's been a while since that incident, but I'm still very worried about the space station's cybersecurity. I want to prepare while I can, and I've got an idea that I want to run past you. Let's talk about the details face to face. I'm outside the office. Please make sure to drop by. Leonard! Oh, okay, it's back. Uh, you might come across Silver Wolf when you return to the Express. Can I unlock Silver Wolf as a playable character, or do I have to get them from the gotcha? Oh, pom pom. Passenger Jolene, ever since the start of this journey, there have been a lot of new visitors boarding the Express. But yeah, I noticed that too. It's getting crowded. Yeah, you have to treasure these encounters. To savor these precious memories, the Express has left a guest book. For all our new friends, they can write comments in it. The guest book is on the bar counter. Go take a look when you have time. Okay. We'll do that at some point. I'm a little busy right now. I think Leonard's waiting for me. Because Leonard's got like a poor conception of time and he thinks that our, this thing that we just did ended a while ago when it just ended like 10 seconds ago. Hey friend over here, you, you're finally here. I've been waiting a long time. Sir! Sir, I just saw you like 10 seconds ago. Yeah, we just saw each other not long ago. <laughs> Is that so? Maybe I just wanted to see you, so I got impatient. I feel like Leonard's got a thing for us. Thing is, like I said in my message, even if the invasion is over, it still exposed many security issues the space station faces. In other words, gaps. Following lead researcher Asta's orders, the space station formed a special task force to tackle this problem. So you can tell this isn't an important quest because he's not talking to me. In my opinion, aside from tactical upgrades, it is more important to increase staff members' awareness and precaution. Many of Silverwolf's attacks honed in on individual bad habits, and those are too difficult to defend against. <laughs> like you, Leonard? Alright, fair enough. Herda Space Station is the turf of genius society members, so it's not inconceivable that other forces target us. Therefore, our safety and staff awareness should be at, top, at the top of the universe as well. In order to be able to quickly respond to such incidents in the future, I think that a safety drill for the entire space station should be arranged immediately. No, why? Why do I have to do with this? A select number of staff members will have their terminals sent a mail embedded with special programs. This sound, yeah, this sounds like phishing mail. <laughs> no, 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 not as simple as that. What we're defending against are enemies on the level of Stellaron Hunters. They won't give you a choice. The moment the mail is successfully received, the program will attack automatically and immediately, regardless of time, location, or whether it was open. Hold on, are you mailing monsters through the email system? Leonard! <laughs> are you emailing our friends monsters? Within moments, the virus will spread throughout the entire space. Leonard! <laughs> Leonard! <laughs> Leonard! Leonard, can we go through, like, ten reasons why this is a really bad idea? Reason number one. Don't. <laughs> Reason number two. Just don't. <laughs> Be it personal terminals, public facilities, or the electric seat warmer on the toilet. Imagine you're just sitting down on the toilet and it's like, suddenly battle music. Everything might collapse within moments. Leonard, then... <laughs> Leonard, have you started looking for your next job? <laughs> Don't worry, these viruses are all imitations written by me. They are absolutely safe and harmless. Are you sure? But through the drill, I want to deepen everyone's understanding of network security. Of course, before we start testing and repeating, revision is compulsory. The requirements for test candidates will be very high. They will need to be bold, careful, and thoughtful. 
They must not only be familiar with the space station, but also understand Silver Wolf and the Stellaron Hunters. It would be helpful if they also have an altruistic heart. Who could satisfy all of these requirements? My friend, that's you. Uh, you, you got other friends, right, Leonard? You mean on the space station? Of course not. Colleagues are not friends. Uh, what? What? I didn't know. We're not friends. This is, yeah, this is kind of sudden, Leonard. Oh, I just had a moment of inspiration. I was at the IPC for a long time. So believe me, friend, when I say at adversity shows sincerity. Leonard, what happened to you? The simulation testing ground is ready. Let's get to it. All right. Come with me. What level are these monsters at? Difficulty one. Level 38! Leonard, are you crazy? Recommended team level. 38, no, Leonard! Leonard, you're out of your gosh dang mind, no! You're out of your mind. Absolutely not, Leonard. I'm going back to the story. Unless I have stuff to level up my characters, you're out of your gosh dang mind. Uh, oh, I do have stuff to level up my characters. What's this? I enhance a character to level 40. Uh, it requires equilibrium level 2 to go beyond level 40. I'm still concerned that we're too low level. Our character is the only one at that level. For Leonard's crazy scheme. I feel like Leonard's getting crazier and crazier. Ooh, I got a thing somewhere. I think it was at eight. I almost have enough for a temple. Do I have enough to buy one? Oh, I'm so close. We might be able to do a temple later on the Kafka banner. All right, we'll try the Leonard thing because I got our character to level 40. I feel like we're gonna get our butt kicked. What is this? Aether graffiti. Use the graffiti mechanisms in the stage to break out of the sealed sector. Currently the network of the area where you are has been hacked. I emulated Silver Wolf's methodology so you can discover many strange graffitis in various locations in the zone. Imagine you are a regular staff member of the space station. You need to evacuate to a safe place, but many pads are blocked due to malfunctions caused by the virus. But luckily for you, you have a wealth of security knowledge. You know exactly how to clear up these graffitis and the viruses that carry, they carry so that the malfunctioning de devices are restored. Just like the detector from before, investigate the graffiti on the surface and scan them. Your aim is simple. Remove the obstacle and clear the area. That's all for the rules. Now try and exit the room. That seems simple enough. What? Leonard, I walked three steps. Affected by the cyber attack, the sensor door cannot be ac activated normally. In order to open it, you have to find the graffiti. So oh, I found it. It's right there. <laughs> Leonard, you didn't hide it very well. It's literally right there. I already found it, Leonard. You salty Susan. Oh, 
apparently that was the one. All right, never mind, Leonard. You hit it a little better than I thought. Look, the sensor door is open. Remove this corresponding graffiti to restore the the affected device. Oh, I see. You had to get a matching one to the one above the door. Oh, hello. Hi, you found the little Easter egg I hid. It wasn't hidden. It was right next to the door that I was going to have to leave through. These graffitis are usually referred to as hacking call cards. They didn't serve any actual function other than to distract. I wrote them in the code to make it more realistic. There are three hacking call cards in each area. Try and locate all of them. As an added reward, collecting hacking call cards will increase your combat ability in the town. Oh, shit. That's helpful. Defense. <laughs> Time for a shot. You're in bad shape. Watch this. Let's make it quick. Why are that? Where are those beams? Are those because we got the call card? You couldn't have done it without me. Uh. Sure. Call that defense. Sink. Naughty children, don't listen. Nap time. My turn. Batter up. Holy shit. And I was worried we were going to get our butt kicked here. Oh, hello. Uh, how do I get over there to get that one? Uh, unearthly marvel is made from special optical materials. When put in direct contact with life forms, the touched blocks will be illuminated. Light up all the blocks to turn them into physical paths. You can use certain blocks to teleport. When you tread on one such block, you will be teleported to another one of the same color. Be careful how you use them. Oh. Oh, all tiles must be activated. Oh. That's like one of these things. I deserve a nice. Them. <laughs> Time for a shot. You're in bad shape. 
Zero points. Next. You have the worst luck running into me. <sighs> Let's go. Fail. Get out. Okay. Shit, maybe this is going to be easy. I thought it was going to be hard. Have done it without me. Was that the boss? It looks like the boss through there. What this? Oh, I'm sorry, Leonard. I didn't read what you said. I don't think I can go through there. Oh, hi! Oh, hello! Oh, golly gee! Oh, you've got a lot of friends. Why do you have so many friends? Rules are made to be broken. Significantly less friends now. Oh, he's got no friends now. His friends are dead. Let's test your knowledge. We've killed his friends. <laughs> Time for a shot. Here comes the medicine. My turn. He does a lot of damage. Sorry, I'm gonna need you to stop that. Never stop thinking. Naughty children, don't listen. <laughs> you have the worst luck running into me. With me out here, how can we lose? Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Hi, Maya! How was your day? You can't run! <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. No, you work tomorrow at nine. No, Moose. I hope you have a good day at work tomorrow. I'm sorry, I couldn't wait. I couldn't start until so late. Are made to be broken. You want to cry in a corner and die? No, Amaya, what's wrong? Are you okay? What happened? Call that defense. Right, he's dead. That was easy. I thought we were going to have trouble in here. Wonderful, a textbook performance. Yeah, it was easy. Of course, you fought the real Silver Wolf. It's only natural that this practice is incomparable to the real thing. If all researchers are able to face it as calmly as you did, there would have been no need to worry that the space station is under a cyber attack. Let's go back. Oh, right, I've submitted an application for your test reward. It's already been approved and will be sent to you immediately. Thanks again, my friend. This test gave me some new ideas. There is still a lot of room for improvement, 
in the flow of the program. If you're interested, come back again. Moose, have a great night. Go get some rest. I hope you have a great day at work tomorrow. You're amazing. I'm proud of you. And we got some. Oh, we got all the things. Look at all these things that we're getting. We got all of the things. All of them. Uh, it was probably level two. Is also team level thirty-eight. But right, they're all team level thirty-eight. Good to see you, friend. Hey, friend. I'm so happy to see you. All good. I replanned the route and added some new designs. What do you say? Want to try it out? Maybe later. I want to go back to doing the story. Oh, but we got more crystals. I think we can do a warp now. We can do a ten pull. We have enough for temple. Yeah, we got enough for temple. We're gonna do a temple on the Kafka banner. Here we go. What was that gold? Was the door gold? I didn't notice what color the door was. Oh, I know. This is where the door shows up. No. Four star. Another hook. <sighs> I got one of our wooden folks idolons. I don't like hook. I guess that's great. We got hook, but I don't like hook. Oh, that's probably good. That's probably good for Natasha. I wonder what that one does. Oh, wait, who are you? Shushang. Sus Sushang? Sushang. Wait, that's a hunt character. Hunt characters are usually really good. Who are they? Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Who are they? Uh, they're a hunt, like, combat character. I guess that's, like, combat art character type. Sus, Sushang, Susang. Hunt news is usually pretty good. They're only a four-star. That's usually pretty good. We'll have to level them up, though. Uh, who's... Oh, we got Hook's Eidolon. Oh, it's this one. Activate. Ready to find the next treasure. Hook seems really annoying. Enhanced skill deals 20% increased damage. Holy shit. That seems good. Wait, who is this? Who am I clipping stuff on? Oh, Sussway. Sus, sus, Sussang. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Uh, you're a hunt character, yeah? Uh, when the wearer defeats an enemy, increases speed by 10%. Hmm. Uh, what was that one we got for Natasha that seemed like it was maybe a Natasha card? Increases the wearer's energy regeneration rate by 8%. Increases outgoing healing when they use their ultimate by 12%. Holy shit. Yeah, give that one to Natasha. Maybe let's enhance that one.
Uh, Amaya, is Amaya safe there? Okay. Amaya, are you okay? I'm concerned, Amaya. Amaya! Uh, I'm gonna go back to doing the story. We've been doing, like, side quests for a while, so let's go back to the story. Uh, missions. getting late where to now to talking to this person gertie oh you're back how did it go are you tired how did oleg treat you he was nice haha -ha, that's true although oleg usually looks quite serious yippee, yippee! hi captain how are you captain he takes good care of everyone well, you must be exhausted after running around the whole day. Take a rest in your room. I'll bring the food over when it's ready. Thank you. You're welcome. We are all friends now that you're staying at the, the Goth Grand Hotel. Oh, I almost forgot. How, do you, how did you find the bed and pillow? What about the room temperature? Is the Geo Marrow Furnace working fine? I, only, I was only in there for like five minutes, and then I kind of wandered around the city, so I don't actually know. If you need anything, please let me know. You're back! I've heard from Wildfire that you helped resolve that whole situation with Svarog. Amazing. It must have been exhausting. Please have some food and get a good night's rest. Okay, I will. Is there anything to do in here before we rest? Oh, looks like we're just resting. Time for rest. A wave of tiredness comes over you, reminding you that you haven't rested in a long time. Even the most terrible dream won't wake you up this time. Bet. I feel like that's not true. Oh, I'm still tiny. I don't want to be tiny. Over there. See that? That used to be the worst street in Rivet Town, mm. and it's also where I grew up. My friends and I used to wander those streets, thinking about where to find our next meal. That is, until Chief Oleg sad. got me out and took me to the orphanage. There, I learned to read and write from Natasha. At the age of ten, I started to patrol the mines with Oleg, occasionally getting into fights with the local thugs. Oh, uh, wow. <sighs> That sounds nice. It, oh, hold on, wait. Did you miss the part where she gets it? She got into fights with the local thugs, and then you were like, "Wow, that sounds nice." That doesn't sound nice. That sounds dangerous. Nice, stinky. Are you being sarcastic? No, with me? no, nobody stinky. stinky. Nobody stinky. Nobody is stinky. No. Captain. Oh, no, sorry. Life in the underworld is difficult. I shouldn't be speaking about it so lightly. Ugh. You're always so serious. It really gets on people's nerves sometimes, you know? Uh, right. Uh, what I meant was... Uh, I kind of envy you, Zila. For as long as I can remember, my days have been an endless cycle of studying, etiquette lessons, and training. Not fighting thugs in the street? Every day, all I hear is, Remember who you are, Branya. This is against the architect's admonishments, Branya. Ladies shouldn't use such foul language, Branya. Oh, he just dropped some F-bombs, it's fine. <laughs> some may envy this kind of life, but... Just I say fuck. Felt trapped. When every choice and every goal has already been made for you. Where do we sign the petition to let Bronya say fuck? Probably can't imagine how that feels. No. Oh, wait, what's the rating for this game? <laughs> Hold on. What kind of foul language are you using? <laughs> yeah, Bronya. <laughs> In the name of the 
architects, I shall stick this fear into your nose. <laughs> Wait, hold on. With that stuff out of language? That's not. That's not, uh. That's not. That's not foul language. That's foul language? <laughs> oh, that's it? <laughs> oh, that's nothing. <laughs> Looks like I'll have to teach you some underworld slang before you go back. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to teach you how to drop some F bombs. <laughs> no. No, that won't be necessary. Oh my god! They're coming back! <laughs> <laughs> I imagine there are a lot of factions of this fan base that would be on board for that. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be better than poking people's nostrils, at least. <sighs> I never thought that I'd be here having a heart to heart with the future guardian. That scared the I shit did, out of me, Captain. I didn't meet many people who lived in the overworld. I only heard stories from the grown-ups and figured you were all just a bunch of cold snobs. I've heard from some Silvermane veterans that before the orders were made to seal off the underworld from the overworld, there was no difference between the two places. Everybody ate the same food, chatted about the same topic, celebrated the same festivals. Even though times are different now, things like the joys and sorrows of life, the ties between people. These precious things must certainly still connect us all. There is a way to bridge the gap between the two worlds. We can definitely go back to the time when you and I were not divided. When we could stand side by side against the eternal freeze and the fragmentum. <laughs> I'm not like you. I don't have that many grand plans for the future. But... That's the future you want. I'm willing to build this bridge with you. Thank you, Zila. Your trust is very important to me. Joe and his three ducks. Joe Jr., Little Joe, and Mark. Don't forget, don't forget Boober. I feel like Little Joe should be changed to Boober. It should be Joe Jr., Boober, and Mark. Because Boober was gonna be is gonna be my first son. That's the name of my first son. Speaking of which, um, what are you going to do next? What Svarog revealed must have made quite an impact, huh? Yes. I thought I was prepared for anything, but... As long as I am the Guardian's successor, those truths will come out sooner or later. But why does my mother hide it from me, and why does she want me to hunt down the outsiders who know about the nature of the Stellaron? It's because she's evil. It doesn't make sense. She's evil. She's working for the Stellaron. I thought it over. There's only one thing I can do. Go ask her directly. And then we're probably going to have to fight her. Even though she's kind of a mommy. I mean, she is your mother, but she's also a mommy. Going. Are you alone? You can't. This but we can all go together. I've already thought it through, Zila. I am Madame Kokolia's daughter. That will never change. Be it my duties as her heir or as a Silvermane guard, I must face my problems head on. Even if... Branya. This is for you, Zila. Please help me pass it on to the outsiders. If... If I am unable to see you again, they'll know what to do. Uh, spoiler, I don't know what to do. I understand. You've made up your mind, and there's nothing I can say that will I'm just gonna beat lots of people up. But, remember this. If you run into trouble, I will come to save you, no matter what. Then I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> so, did you come to this spot when you were a child? Of course. I just didn't appreciate how nice it was at the time. Very nice. We got a lot of faith in the fact that I they think I know what to do. I have no idea what to do. That was a good sleep. That, that was a good I sleep. I meet up with March and Denhong. 
it's very startling like the the like five times that our character has had voice lines in this game because <laughs> i forget that our character can actually talk since they never actually talk in cutscenes took you long enough sleepyhead we've been waiting all day i've noticed that our sleep routines don't match up you either keep getting up in the middle of the night or snoozing away until the day's almost out. We did stay up for like two days straight. You gotta work on your teamwork. Hold on, we stayed up and fought monsters for like two days straight while y'all slept yesterday. Hmm. Did you have a dream again last night? No. Oh, wait, we dreamt that Puck and Pomcom got into a swabble? Uh, no, I don't think we had a dream. So that's why you slept for so long. Well then, let's go find Wildfire to discuss her next move, and see if they have any new discoveries. Let's go! I can't wait to finally get back above ground! We have plenty of time. For what? What are y'all doing? What do you got time for? What's happening? What's going on over there? Oh, hey, what's going on? Oh, Shampoo is here. Oh, look who's here. Shampoo. It's the Bane of Sparrow. Get out of here, Shampoo. The big hero of the underworld. And the other big heroes, Dan Hung and March 7. Were those lines rehearsed? Get out of here, Shampoo. Where's Natasha? Is she here? Oh, yeah, where is Natasha? We like Natasha. She has a bunch of other things to attend to. So I hope you don't mind talking to this <clears throat> old man instead. It's very startling that you don't move your mouth when you talk. By the way, sorry for keeping that whole thing about her being the actual leader of Wildfire a secret. <laughs> hmm. I'm glad you don't mind. Natasha is always cautious. We kind of like Natasha better anyway, so. You surely have noticed. She told me to make sure you return to the overworld safely. I gave it some thought, and I think the safest way is to ask this fella for help. No, not shampoo. No. I you down. No. I can take you back up. No. Free of charge. No. No. No shampoo. No. I don't trust shampoo. Of course not. He drugged this us last time. time. We'll go back through the furnace core. <laughs> Give us someone else. <laughs> Please, don't be like that. We have so much history together. Don't you have a little <laughs> Ugh, Enough chatter. Just be a good guide. Hold on. What about Branya? Why isn't she here? She already oh, I got bad back. news. As you know, she has some things to settle with the Supreme Guardian. What? She just ditched us and went back? How could you let her? Exactly. She has a lot of responsibilities. I don't completely understand, but I trust that she's trying to solve the problem. Oh, I feel like she's going to get in trouble. Branya told me to give you this. She left us a letter. Hmm. Could this be one of those open in case of emergency letters? I've never gotten one of those before. Should we wait until we run into something dangerous? No, I feel like we should open it right now. Stop overthinking and just open it. Yeah, just open it. Oh god, it's long. Jolene, March, and Dan Hung. By the time you read this letter, I should have returned to the overworld and be on my way to see my mother. I apologize for not telling you my plan. I was afraid that you would strongly object, which might sway my resolve. Madame Kakolia raised me, and I will never be able to repay her kindness. She taught me countless life lessons and virtues, as well as how to defend Bellabog and its people. Even though she has lately made certain decisions that puzzled me, I can't let go of all the precious mem memories I have with her. I must communicate my point of view and thoughts to her honestly, and seek to arrive at a mutual understanding with her. 
This is my goal as a daughter, but also my duty as a silver main guard. But I'm aware of the risks I might face on this journey. So if I fail to win my mother's approval or if something happens to me, please forward this le letter to Lon Londau? To the Londau siblings and ask for their help. Cervel and Jepard are honorable people with enormous power in Bellabog, and I have complete faith in them. I'm sure they will unreservedly help you in your search for the Stellaron once they see my seal and handwriting. Rania Rand. Brother and sister Landau? I know the brother must refer to Jepard, but who could the sister be? I don't know. New character? Oh, Serval! Oh, Serval! He's Jepard's older sister. We love Cerebell. Maybe the sister refers to Jabbar. Uh. <laughs> she gave it some good thought. But whatever's going on in that Supreme Guardian's head. I love there's always just one answer where we can just be a complete ass. Sampo, do you know the Landau siblings? Landau? Uh, yeah, we're all friends. I've mostly dealt with the younger brother in the past, but the sister? <laughs> She's much scarier. Uh, today's supposed to be a day of celebration, so let's not talk about it right now. All right, what are we celebrating? We can set out at any time. Just come find me when you're ready. I'm ready right now. Wait, what's happening? Oh god, what's all this stuff? Oh, like... Jolene, can you receive this message? March 7th gave me this little thing and taught me how to use it. Well, it seems you can teach an old dog new tricks after all. It just m takes time. I kind of know how it works by now. Nice to have something that lets me talk to people without meeting them face to face. Oh, uh, we learn quick. I'm flattered, Jolene. Now let's cut, cut to the chase. I heard Natasha is seeing a lot of patients and hasn't slept for days. She's the backbone of the underworld, and we can't afford to have her burned out. Jolene, I know you did a great favor for her recently, but can I ask you to check on her again, just to make sure she's alright? Uh, yeah. We like Natasha. I knew I could count on you the first time we met. I was not wrong after all. Thank you so much. What was this? Simulated Universe Part 2. I heard it asks you to enter the simulated universe created by the Genius Society. Oh, can I go to like the second part of the simulated universe now? Who's Dr. Dig? Outsider, I finally got your contact. I have something to tell you. Boss Scott has been talking every day about how we need to try some business models. He's quite worked up about this. If you have time, can you chat with him? I'm telling you, you can make a ton of money. It's like a get-rich-quick scheme. Wait, who, who the fuck is Scott? Hey, don't be like that. Boss Scott is the most powerful man in the underworld. Loads of people want to be his friend. Who is Scott? Anyway, go talk to Boss Scott. Who... With Boss Scott. When you have time, I guarantee it's going to be a good deal for you. Don't forget to to patronize the club when you make your fortune. Your fortune. What? What? Oh wait, what is this? Limited time rewards? What is this? Normal mode everlasting dream. Normal mode confusing life. What are these? 
Some remote old memories of the icy past. Oh, icy post. What is this? Despair mode? What the fuck is this? You're all normal mode stages and obtain a thousand points. What is this shit? Virtual scent venture. The fuck is a virtual scent venture? Older Town Super League. Ring in stage one. Dr. Dig, the manager of the Fight Club, sends you. Oh, this is what the Dr. Dig thing is for. Well, I gotta go there to unlock whatever that is. Oh, I can make yucky fried rice. Why would I want to make yucky fried rice? Why? It uses a trash bag. Why? Why would I make rice out of trash? It makes all allies lose HP equal to 15% of their max HP. Why would I do that? Why would I make that? Upon use, immediately causes all allies to lose HP equal to 15% of their max HP. Oh, it increases their attack by 200 for the next battle. But they lose health. That seems like a terrible trade-off. It's made from trash. <laughs> Apple. It's made out of trash. Uh, where's the thing to go talk to Natasha? Can I help right there? I have to walk there. Oh, it's literally right here. Are you hurt? Let me take a look. I hope your exploration will make progress, Jolene, and your journey will be free of pain. Of course, even if you get injured by accident, no need to panic. Just leave it to the doctor. You came at a good time. <laughs> there is something you can help me with. Yeah. According to my patient records, there are a few that haven't come for their follow-up visits. Oh. It happens from time to time, but never as regularly as this. <sighs> I'm a bit concerned. Have you heard of the Complex Illness Mutual Aid Society? No. <laughs> it sounds suspicious. <laughs> I agree. Generally speaking, mutual aid societies like these allow patients to share their experiences and support each other. It's a way of countering all the negative emotional effects of being ill. But there might be more to this society than that. I've got a few patients who have started refusing treatment since joining the society. It certainly makes you wonder. And the most suspicious part is that no matter how much I ask, no one's ever willing to tell me anything about it. And that's where you might be able to help. Time to infiltrate. Yeah, I'm gonna go undercover. <laughs> it sounds dangerous, but what I want you to do is actually very simple. Investigate this so-called mutual aid society and find out what exactly they're up to. Yeah, yeah don't worry, I'll crack some skulls if while I'm I at find it. find out they're preventing me from doing my job, or if they're bringing harm to my patients, I won't just sit on the sidelines. Yeah, we'll kick some ass Can and I take some names. Yeah, yeah, I got you. 
This little clinic has huge numbers of patients to deal with every day. If I didn't have you here to help me out, I wouldn't be able to focus on giving them quality care. Don't worry, I got you. I'll be sure to thank you properly when you're back. Oh, all right. Uh, BRB. <laughs> uh, where am I going? Over here. Hey, you're gonna talk to this guy. You. Me. I've seen you in the clinic. You run errands for Natasha, right? What's it to you? I run errands for lots of people. <laughs> Who's Natasha? Don't play dumb. I might be sick, but my eyes still work. Let me guess. Natasha wants you to persuade me to go back for a follow-up visit, right? Maybe. What's the use? I'm terminal. Life will be over before I know it. Oh my god. Of course not. I read it in a book. Well, there's your problem. Wait, no, books are good. Hold on. Every but that's like the equivalent of looking up your shit on exactly. WebMD. I can diagnose myself with a dozen incurable diseases. Oh, no. Through. Oh, no, this this dude's like doing the the space equivalent of looking up his shit on WebMD. For people in my situation, a follow up visit is just a waste of time and money. Not to oh, mention place. no. <laughs> Mutual aid what now? What are you talking about? What else is there to say? Natasha was seeing me free of charge. She said I could keep a tab running for as long as I liked, then pay it back when I had the opportunity. I guess I'm too proud. You think I need you to tell me? Don't try and persuade me. I've already thought this through. <sighs> Dr. Vash never charged me anything either. Natasha's great, but Vash was always my number one. I guarantee whoever this Dr. Vash is is not nearly as cool as Natasha. Free <laughs> medical care? I don't believe it. Yeah, I don't believe that shit. That sounds made up. What do you mean? Dr. Vash was a people's doctor. He handed out free medicine. He even followed up with detailed questions on how he felt. The underworld is always short of medical resources. They say that Dr. Vash made all his own medicine himself. Natasha's brother. Oh. They both used to practice medicine back in Rivetown. I heard he was a top student from the Overworld Medical Academy. Bellabog's main hospital wanted him. I have no idea what convinced him to set up down here. A kind heart, maybe. You think I don't want to? I heard that he passed away. Oh, shit. Uh, I should keep my voice down. Don't go telling anyone else about this next bit. Okay, I'll keep it between us. I heard that Natasha had something to do with Dr. Vash's death. I don't believe that. Natasha she seems she lovely. She jealous that her brother had stolen her patients, so she... I don't believe that for a second. Yeah, I don't believe it's that. It's just a rumor. Don't take my word for it. Natasha seems lovely. I forget I said anything. Since Dr. Natasha sent you over specially, I'll do her a favor. I'll go to the clinic for my follow-up a little later. Bye for now. All right, I'm proud of you. Avoiding uh, a follow-up visit due to money issues. It's like who's talking? I That's us. Find another patient to talk to. Hello. What was that? Oh, you'll have to be louder. My ears aren't what they used to be. Hello. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, wanted to ask why you're not going for your follow-up visit. Yeah, we're very tall. Look at how tall we are. <laughs> we look like we're gonna rough up this lady. All right, listen, lady, go back to the doctor. Natasha's there. Don't make me pull out my baseball bat. She always gives me a thorough checkup. Yeah, we'll go back and see her. 
But at this age, it's rather a lot to bear. Even if they could cure me. I'm sure I wouldn't be around for long. I'm, what's, what's wrong with you? I don't want to waste anyone's time. This is a depressing questline. Holy shit. Hey, just listen to Dr. That Natasha. She's lovely. Trying to get me to take my medicine. Yeah, but that's... Well, uh, yeah. I, I know her heart's in the right place. Oh. Of course she's going to try and get you to take your medicine on time. That's the whole point. My husband had the same illness as me, but he never touched the medicine. <laughs> he wanted to make sure I had enough. Then, one day, he said he needed to take care of some things at the mine. He never came back. Oh, shit. He was forever saying he wanted to go before I did. <laughs> Ah, oh, selfish old fool. I miss him. Now that he's gone. Oh my god. How long I stick around. Oh my god. Uh, uh, Dr. Natasha cares. Wrong, I suppose. That girl certainly spares me no effort. But I always feel like I'm a burden to her. Okay, you win. It's off for another follow-up visit with Dr. Natasha, I suppose. Hmm? Did you want to say something else? Yeah. No, just go see Dr. Natasha. Virtual who? All right. I heard you. No, do you have to shout? No, I've never heard of any mutual aid society. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna see another patient and due to her husband. get another depressing story. I should find another patient to talk to. All right, I found one. Why haven't I gone for my follow-up visit? Are you a patient too, or did Doctor Natasha send you? Natasha sent me to rough you up. <laughs> you should head on back then. Thank Doctor Natasha for her concern. Well, this guy seems like a dick. I don't need Doctor Natasha's help now. Tell her to save her worries in medicine for other people. A dispute. No, no. She's the only kind-hearted doctor in the underworld. I just don't really approve of her methods, that's all. Too idealistic and no real efficacy. What? what? She tries to save everyone, which means she can't save anyone. In the end, it's the patients who suffer, and she just tires herself out. What? Miners like me don't have time for lengthy treatments. If I can't take something and get right back to work, I may as well lie down and wait for death to come knocking. What the fuck? Did you uh know Dr. Vash? Is somebody else mentioned them. Cheap, and the results are immediate. You just need to uh, be willing to uh take a little risk. I thought Dr. Vash was dead. Dr. Vash's medicine is different. Lots of people make a full recovery after taking it, but some get worse, and the unlucky ones check out early. Oh, what? Even knowing the risk, most people fight tooth I and see him. to get hold of the medicine. You know why? Oh, no. <laughs> You've clearly never been in really dire straits. I fight monsters. When life forces you to the edge, you'll throw yourself at any opportunity, even if it means risking it all. For people like us, a slow and torturous treatment is the same as a death sentence. This is the and most depressing quest in this result, game so far. We'll take the ladder. Holy shit. Forget it. Why am I telling you all this? Dr. Vash is dead anyway. You're what? I don't understand why you're talking about him. What? Now you're interested in the wonder medicine? Yeah, where's the wonder medicine? Listen up. The complex illness mutual aid society is still selling that medicine. I can tell you where they trade, but there's a rule. Yeah, what's the rule? Uh, I will tell you, I'm not great at following rules. You must not tell any of this to Dr. Natasha. Okay, yeah, yeah totally. If you break the rule, you face the consequences. Yeah, listen, uh, I don't think there's any consequences you can use against me. I've got a baseball bat, like a magic baseball bat from space. Yeah. 
Take this. It's the address. Oh, thanks. A final warning. Do uh -huh. not reveal this information to Natasha. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm not going to tell Natasha. I know where to find the wonder medicine. What should I do next? Yeah, what should that I do next? didn't want me to tell Natasha about this. Should yeah. I listen to him? What's, what totally, what should we do next? Uh, Natasha! Natasha! <laughs> Natasha! <laughs> What am I gonna do against my magic space baseball bat? <laughs> what are the consequences gonna be? I wish you all a journey that is free of illness. What? Oh, I have to queue up the thing before I get voice lines. <laughs> yeah, I came here on a space train. What are y'all gonna do? <laughs> We're here to literally save your planet from being a popsicle. What is the worst that you could do to us? So the Mutual Aid Society found my... found Bash's research results. And now they're selling this so-called wonder medicine to patients? Any organization doing something like this is interested in more than just mutual aid. I'm not surprised. They'll know that I'm completely against them using this wonder medicine. Yeah, but don't worry, Natasha. I ran here immediately, shouting your name through the streets. I told them if they tried to do anything, I'd hit them with my magic baseball bat. What Vash left behind is nothing more than reagents and experimental byproducts. The word medicine doesn't apply here. <sighs> I warned the patients countless times, but seems like they had their heads in the sand all along. <laughs> No wonder they kept the Mutual Aid Society a secret from me. Thank you. Those patients weren't exactly singing my praises. Thank you for having faith in me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you are the healer on our team, so... Medicine, you should ask some of the patients in the clinic. See what they have to say about the effects. Hello! Some people say that Dr. Vash was a saint who came from the overworld to help those in need. Eh... I don't buy it. People's doctor. That's just what people who've bought into the myth like to say. Vash used to distribute free medicine all the time. But um, he, he couldn't have cared less about the people taking the medicine. That's kind of fucked up. The hard truth is that we were just his test subjects. He it was like a mad scientist. If the medicine worked or not, what mattered was... Having a constant stream of willing lab rats. Of course, I can't control what anyone else thinks. That's just how I see it. The medicine Vash left behind? <laughs> that stuff? Can you even call it medicine? I know Dr. Natasha's here, but I have to tell it like it is. Vash had zero medical ethics. He didn't deserve the title doctor. Wow. You feel he very strongly about this. Me, but he didn't use it to help anyone. Whenever I went to see him, he never even asked about my illness. He just prescribed me his so-called wonder medicine. If it were you, would you have taken that medicine? Probably not. But we have, we've got a healer on our team that just shoots a teddy bear and drops presents on us and we all get healed. Oh wait, that's also Natasha, so... <laughs> Let me take a look. Uh, no, no, I'm fine. I'm here to talk about the quest. I still haven't worked out how to... convey it to you. The issues surrounding Vash. My relationship with him. The things he's done in the underworld. It's a long story. Time for a flashback? I'm guessing you've heard a lot of different opinions on Vash. <laughs> no, no, they seem about the same. What do you make of him? Uh, he seems crazy. <laughs> I think he's insane. I see. I can understand that. I want you to go and visit another patient, a victim of the wonder medicine. Oh, God. I want you to see the real consequences of abusing that medicine. Oh, God. Once you've understood her situation... Come back and tell me what you think. 
After that, I want to ask for your help again. Okay. Is this about to get really dark? How dark is this about to get? Hi. Oh, you're just chilling in the street. You all right? Hi. Who are you? Uh, I'm a hot dog uh, lady extraordinaire. I'm a miracle doctor from beyond the sky. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm a friend of Dr. Mm -hmm. Natasha. Uh, that's what I'm here to find out. Wait, wait, hold on, you don't know who you are? You're just chilling over here on the street corner? I'm concerned. You haven't introduced yourself my yet. Husband. And where's my child? Uh-oh. Where, where are they? You, you know where they are? Right? No. No, I just came here to find you. You don't know. They don't know. Nobody knows. Oh, shit. Where? where? Where did they go? Come over here, child. It's best to leave that poor lady in peace. Let me explain. Okay. That poor, poor lady. Both her husband and child became ill and passed away. Are you, are you Irish? You sound Irish. Yes. Before her family passed Amaya. away, she was a carefree young woman. Yeah, I'm noticing there's a lot of serious themes in this game. Her husband and child caught a, a mysterious illness. The symptoms weren't grave, but their livelihood was certainly impacted. I didn't notice any serious themes in what we played of Genshin, although I didn't make it very far in the Genshin. To try and rid themselves of the ailment once and for all, they bought some kind of. I can't tell. Wonder is this an Irish it? accent or is this a Scottish accent? I thought their condition would deteriorate so rapidly after they began using it. The two began to suffer terribly, such that death then became a blessing. It wasn't long before they departed this world. <laughs> what is that you know, the spinning chair? <laughs> From that moment on, oh, she became as you see her now. If Dr. Natasha hadn't taken her under her wing, well, it doesn't bear thinking about. And yet, what more could have been done? They were warned about the medicine. They were told about the risks. They chose to roll the dice. Oh, talking about it tires me out. At least my husband and I are able to help her where we can. I just hope that one day she can lead a normal life again. I hope so too. Natasha! Back to work! No, Amaya, you're still stuck at work! No! Oh my, it's... Oh, wait, you're in PSC. It's not that late. I was going to say, it's after midnight. Why are you hurt? Let no, me take a look. No, Natasha, I'm here to talk about the lady. Remember the lady you sent me to find? Did you speak to her? By the look on your face, I'm assuming you've come to understand the wonder medicine all too well. Yeah, it seems fucked up. Be it Vash or the Mutual Aid Society, forces like that can take full advantage of the... the typical underworld state of mind. Let me tell you a story. Okay, I'm ready. Flashback time. There was once a brilliant overworld doctor with okay. unmatched pharmaceutical skill. Okay, so it's your brother? The doctor was set on developing a medicine that would steal the human body against the cold. Okay. He named his research project Blizzard Immunity. Oh, because the planet's frozen. That makes sense. But his research met with obstruction time and time again, the biggest factor being a lack of test subjects. Tampering with the human immune system carries huge risk, and nobody in the overworld was willing to submit themselves to such experiments. That makes sense. As such, 
the doctor got in touch with his sister in the underworld, claiming that he wanted to support the medical effort below ground. So he lied. Naturally, his sister was overjoyed. After all, as far as medicine was concerned, her brother had always been the standard she'd strive to attain. She brought her brother underground and entrusted him with her clinic and laboratory. Oh, fuck. I think you know what comes next. Issuing free medicine to the needy was just Vash's way of conducting experiments on his test subjects. Oh shit, so he just used them to test his, like, formula to try and cure people of the cold. On some level, his reagents were able to alleviate the patient's suffering, but nothing more. They would forget their pain for a while and neglect their regular treatment plans. <laughs> the result? Patients with mild illness would attribute their recovery to the so-called wonder medicine while patients with serious illness would quickly deteriorate and sometimes die. I cannot accept that their fate was simply the result of misfortune or risk. No true doctor would accept that. That's why I want you to help me recover all the wonder medicine. Are you willing to take on this assignment? Oh yeah. Thank you. This will be hard for the people that have come to rely on the Wonder Medicine. But it's up to us to remove this false hope. You mustn't hesitate. Recover every last reagent that Vash left behind. I'll take responsibility for the consequences. Don't worry about that. Oh, don't worry. I'll crack some skulls if I have to. I'll be waiting for the good news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go crack some skulls. I got a magic baseball bat. Time to crack skulls! Am I gonna have to fight people? Are they gonna fight for it? Uh, where am I going? Oh, wait, where am I actually going? Rivet Town. Bop! Oh, hi! I think we are gonna have to fight. Y'all wanna fight? Stop right there. No one's allowed up ahead. Except for me. Oh, we're not we're not mincing our words. Hero, are we? Yeah, we'll just fuck them up. up. Yeah. Wait a minute, you're that clinic woman's lackey, aren't you? Did you think the mutual aid society didn't have its own intel? She's after our medicine and sent you here to smash the place. Right? That's right. And I'm good at smashing. There's one thing I'm good at it's smashing. Smashing is my number one skill. I'm asking the question. SAS Pekipi. Now we get to drop a pillar on them. It reveals truth and falsehood. Jolene Smash. <laughs> Jolene's pissed. Let's test your knowledge. We also have Dr. Ratio, so y'all are fucked. Next. Naughty children, don't listen. And uh Natasha's also here. She wasn't she's not like here in the story, but she's here in combat. I don't make sense of that. Do with that with what you will, but she's also here. You're in bad shape. My turn. Watch this. Let's make it quick. Just a scratch. Do you have answers? Think. <laughs> That'll take more than medicine. All better now? Much better. You have the worst luck running into me. <sighs> Let's go. Better up. I'm asking the questions. Never stop thinking. Well, we did 69 damage. You know what that calls for? Good. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Uh oh, wait. Hi. Uh, hello? Who's that guy? Uh, 
Uh, the old box has some medicine labeled with experiment numbers. This must be the wonder medicine the mutual aid society was talking about. You suddenly hear footsteps behind you. Well, look who we have here. Your reputation precedes you, outsider. I didn't take you for a bandit and a thief. Yeah, well, I didn't take you for a jerk face. My insults are very on point tonight. You listen here. I'm the president of the Complex Illness Mutual Aid Society. The medicine we hold here is lifeblood for many of our members. Uh-huh. Are you sure you want to deprive them of that? I don't care who you are. You look really silly in those suspenders. Those poor patients. Along comes a life-saving wonder medicine. Only also, your shirt looks like it's too small on you, and the like you. button is going to, like, bust open. The underworld is full of sickness. What would happen if we left it all to that clinic to treat? I think they'd be fine. My mutual aid society has relieved that doctor of patients at the end of the road. Shouldn't she be thanking me? Hmm. Seems like you are quite bent on dismantling our operations, aren't you? That's right. Got a magic baseball bat. Fine. Seeing as you came all this way, it'd be rude not to give you the opportunity. Men! Seize the medicine thief! Uh, eat baseball bat! Oh, Y'all have robots. Answers. Uh, maybe you take out the robots Let's first? Test your knowledge. <laughs> That'll Asseus take more than Perkippi. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. You're in bad shape. I told you I could fight. Let's make it quick. Oh, that guy's angry. Yeah, that's why I wanted to take out the robots first. They can shield themselves. Which is kind of annoying. You're annoying. Oh shit, these guys are strong. Asking the questions. Never stop thinking. Fail. Get out. Uh. Well, although the guys are a lot weaker. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Perfect. Next. We're all frozen. This is our chance. Okay, one of the robots is down. Batter up. Try that again. You have answers. Let's test your knowledge. Okay. Just this dude now. You can't run. <laughs> time for a shot. Nap time. My turn. Watch this. This it's is frozen. Got them. Kick their asses. Blast it. What did we ever do to you? I want to fight this guy. Can't I fight this guy? I just want to beat this guy up. Money maker? So you admit it then. Oh wait, Natasha is with us. Lives. You're in it to get rich. I didn't think Natasha came with us. What are you? Oh, doing Natasha here? is here. She just showed up. Oh, okay. As if we didn't have enough trouble already. Selling fake medicine with false kindness. You should have expected trouble to find you sooner or later. 
I have a responsibility to protect the well-being of my patients. Or to put it another way, I must eradicate any and all threats to them. You... Well, you can't save everyone. The Underworld is teeming with sickness. How could you possibly pull it off? You're right. I can't save everyone alone. But if I must, I would sacrifice food and sleep to treat them. The debt that Vash owes to the Underworld rests with me. All I can do is help everyone to the best of my ability. To the very end. I like Natasha. Uh, uh, so stubborn. In that sense, you're no different from your crazy brother. No, no, no. Natasha is basically a hero. I'll take that as a compliment. Can we fight this guy? Could Thank I hit him with my baseball bat a couple times? Today have saved many underworld families. Wait, I'm not done. I want to hit him with my baseball bat a couple times. I'll find a way to dispose of Vash's leftover reagent. Just like turn Next the other way, Natasha, and just don't look. Wants to whip up a quack cure, they'll be out of luck. <laughs> well, after I hit him a couple times, they won't be whipping up anything. Let's go back to town. I still owe those patients an explanation. You're lucky. Oh, wait, he's gone. You're lucky, sir, wherever you went. You're lucky. If you were up to me, I would have gotten to hit you a few times. Older town. He's lucky. I wanted to rough him up. It's getting late. Where to now? Why do you always think it's getting late? Looks like the patients have surrounded Natasha. Uh oh. Let's hear what they're saying. What are you saying, Doctor? The wonder medicine is out of supply? Correct. That medicine is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Wildfire has cut off the supply chain. Your ailments need rational, scientific treatment. Relying on pseudo medicines will only worsen your condition. <laughs> rational and scientific, huh? The way I see it, you're just jealous you lost your patience. <gasps> How dare you speak to Dr. Natasha like that? Where are your manners? Yeah, this guy's a dick. Can we, can we take him like out back and beat him up too? Man, please think for a moment. How can you still be siding with her? That wonder medicine was working fine for us, and now it's gone because she wants it to be? How can she? I understand your anger. But as your doctor, I ask you to trust my judgment. Still want to know what the green goop that she wears around her neck is. I will find a way to access more medical resources and help you through your struggles. If I must, I'll get help from the surface. The surface. <laughs> I almost forgot that you were an overworld big shot. Have some respect for Dr. Natasha. If it's respect she wants, she better find a replacement for the wonder medicine fast. If not, I'll tell everyone about how she set up Dr. Vash. Dr. Vash was crazy, just like you. I'm out of here. That guy was a dick. I wish you all a journey that is free of illness. No, no, we're here to talk about the we're here to talk about that the guy that was just a dick. Oh, you're here. I apologize. That must have made for uncomfortable viewing. Yeah, I'd like to straighten Don't him out. Let your emotions get the better of you. If I were in his shoes, I might well have had the same reaction. Now I need to focus on treating the patients and dispelling their doubts. Let's leave it for now. I'll feel a lot better once I've gotten rid of this mess that Vash left us. Now's as good a time as any to tell you Vash's whole story. Oh, more backstory? If there's anything you want to know, don't hesitate to ask. Okay. No, but... I used to think we were so close that we may as well have been. Oh, so he wasn't really your brother. I, uh, 
actually grew up in the orphanage. It wasn't until I was adopted by an overworld family that life changed for me. My adoptive mother always saw me as her own flesh and blood. <laughs> and Vash loved me like a sister. That is, while we were still young. My adoptive parents belonged to a prominent medical family. As kids, we were exposed to all kinds of medical texts. When we were older, both of us got straight into Bellabog's medical school. We were on a path into the medical profession. Okay. He was gentle and introverted. When did he get crazy? But when it came to work, he could be absurdly obsessive. Like a completely different person. Whenever I made a mistake in an experiment, he'd bite my head off. Oh. And then a while later, he'd apologize and comfort me. He was conflicted in that way. I didn't know he had leftover reagents in Rivet Town. I was shocked when you told me. If you fail to make a clean break with the past, the past creeps up on you. <sighs> That's a long story. Ever since he was little, Vash had always wanted to develop a medicine called blizzard immunity. He saw the human body's vulnerability to cold as a disease, and wanted to cure it so that humanity could survive the eternal freeze. If he succeeded, people would be able to leave Bellabog and rebuild their homes in the snow plains. To be honest, I never understood how he'd achieve that blizzard. Immunity. Yeah, how would that work? Would you just become like snow people? But I do admire that vision. Living snowmen? I always chose to believe him ever since I was a kid. I knew his research in the overworld wasn't going well. I used to write to him and ask him to come down and stay with the kids in the orphanage for a while. I thought it might help take his mind off his research. But I was too young to know what long-term frustration could do to a person. It changed him in a terrible way. It made him crazy. During his stay in the underworld, he met patients affected by fragmentum corrosion with mild symptoms. Compared with non-patients, their bodies reacted differently to hot and cold. And that... So why is there someone breathing really loud? He began to simulate mild fragmentum corrosion, thinking that it could lead to breakthroughs in developing blizzard immunity. Oh. Those reagents I still don't understand how that would work. ...for critical illness. That doesn't exist. Vash made the reagents to mitigate the suffering of his patients in the short term. A convenient way for him to observe changes in his test subjects. But behind my back, he had been doling out the reagents to residents who were kept in the dark. When it finally struck me that something was wrong, his terrible research had already turned him into... into a madman. Yeah, he seems crazy. Like, crazy AF. Indeed. And it all happened under my nose. How ridiculous. My judgment was clouded by trust in a loved one. When his experiments were exposed, I spent a long time with Oleg discussing how to handle the aftermath. This was shortly before the underworld was sealed off. There were hardly any Silvermane guards remaining. We spent ages trying to find a way to handle Vash. In the end, Oleg suggested that we banish him and permanently deny him access to the underworld. Wait, so is he not dead? Had his victims found out the truth, Vash would have been torn to pieces by furious underworlders. I was... young and weak at the time. Oleg must have worried about how I'd react to such a scenario, or he wouldn't have suggested banishment. <sighs> Looking back, it wasn't. He deserved much worse. So is he still out there somewhere? Oleg and I took Vash to the overworld. He made his final request to us. To take him outside the city to the snow plains he'd always wanted to conquer. 
His figure gradually disappeared into the snow curtain. What if he comes back? What if he's still out there somewhere? I've been telling myself that Vash is dead ever since. What if he's still out there? Forgive me. I'm not good at telling stories. Vash was a terrible brother and a worse doctor. That's all you need to know. He might actually come back at some point. Thank you for cleaning up the mess my brother left behind. Here, for your trouble. This feels like it's being built up to him coming back at some point. Ooh, Trailblaze level 22, baby! This feels like the build-up for Vash to come back at some point. You're not saying anything? I f this feels like foreshadowing. Uh, let's go back to the express and get our rewards. This feels like build up. Oh. Oh wait, you have a, a quest for us. You're not going to want me to measure you again, are you? Please tell me you don't want us to measure you again. The next adventure ensure sufficient supplies you have to. I will lead the way in cutting spending. I want to send me out hunting. Let's <laughs> make you our emergency food. <laughs> hey, Pompa, oh I got bad news. You're going to be the emergency food. <laughs> Listen to yourself. How could you do that to your conductor? <laughs> you may not know. Various materials are needed in order to ensure the normal operation of the Astro Express. But before we had a good relationship with the space station, Himiko and Asta reached some kind of resource supply agreement. For some basic supplies, we can go directly to the corresponding department to ask for them. Well, but don't ask for things that are too expensive and troublesome. Since you're here, I have Asta. I have told Asta, and she has already informed the person in charge of the corresponding department. Why don't you run the errand for me this time? Okay. Yeah, I know about the Paimon one from Genshin, because I know when we played Genshin the one time, everyone kept telling me that Paimon was emergency rations. Although I found Paimon to be, like, the most annoying character in that game. I hated Paimon. Who's the elder of the Department of Insight? Mayor, and help to replenish provisions on the Express. The English voice kills you. It's just, having Paimon around, just, oh, hello, just made it feel like they were, like, trying to cater to, like, a young audience. I guess Pom Pom's kind of the same thing, but Pom Pom doesn't feel as ingrained in the story. Like, Pom Pom's not with us all the time. Hello. You blinked your eyes and made sure that the person you saw was Silver Wolf. She wasn't supposed to be here. <laughs> March 7th, quick, make a run for it! <laughs> uh, what are you doing on what the Express? Do mean, what am I doing? Everyone else is here. Can't I be too? No, you're a criminal. Relax. I'm just dropping by for a visit. I was hacking through the dark regions of the inner astral network a while ago and happened to see a signal from the Astral Express. So I thought I'd stop by to check it out. What you see in front of you is a hologram. Just as harmless as the whale holograms you see floating around the Express. Here. See for yourself. She poked your stomach. The part of her finger that touched your clothes disappeared. Seeing is believing, right? If you're still not convinced, you can cut off the network connection on the express, and I'll disappear into thin air. Until you turn it back on, of course. Oh, I got stellar jeans. Uh, aren't I supposed to look at, like, some kind of book in here? There's, like, a book. Book. 
on the counter or something. Where's the book on the counter? I have a mission to do that. Oh god, I have a lot of quests now. Uh, the guest book. Oh, it's right by... It's right by her. A silver wolf. Stellar on hunters. The express is great across the board it just lacks a nice and cozy place to game in peace how about i sponsor the creation of such a space we're all friends after all Missions. Who's Julian? Hook is in trouble. What's going on with Hook? It's getting late. Where to now? I'm out of Snow White popping candy. I'm... Wait, who are you? Mom told me not to talk to strangers. Aren't we... Didn't you play hide-and-seek with me at one point? Yeah. Hide-and-seek, that doesn't ring a bell. Yeah, you were the one who transformed into a fully grown man. Hey, did you mistake me for someone else? Pitch Dark Hook the Great sent me. Huh? Boss Hook? What does she want from Julian of a Thousand Fate? Yeah, you're the one that turned into a fully grown man. Oops, I revealed myself. Hmm, fine. I'll stop messing with you. You are right. I'm Julian. What do you want from me? You! Hey, you! Stop! <clears throat> you are now a conscript of the moles. Uh, no, I'm just here. I'm just here to, to see what's going on with her. <laughs> I, Julian of a thousand faces. Wait. It's not the time for Yeah, this. where's where's Hook? We got trouble. The boss went to the great mine along with her Diggertron. Excuse me, with her what? And she refused to let anyone go with her. I feel like she's doing something dangerous. You have to go check on her for us. What is what is a Diggertron? <laughs> wait, 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 what Diggertron is that? Diggertron is Diggertron. As long as the boss has it with her, you can expect a good fight. Fursman what? is in the mines. It seems like the boss heard some bad news about him and then just ran in there. Oh, there's lots of bad guys in the mines. Miss Natasha said kids ain't allowed to go in. It's go probably for good reason. Now. He's Who's so Fursman? Daddy. And he's like a daddy to everyone in the moles. Uh, no, like wait, what? A great person. Hold on. Wait, what? Hang on. Wait, 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 what? Uh... I'm going to ignore that part. I'll head there right away. Please hurry. Uh, I think I got level up material. Let's level up some more characters. mine I don't know how to get down here how do I get down here how do I get down there I think that's where I needed to get for another quest and I didn't know how to get there how do I get there
Uh, hello. Oh, is this gonna be? Is this gonna be a three-round fight? Oh god, I just started a three-round fight. Uh. Rules ooh, this is different. awkward. Golly gee, this is awkward. Oh, y'all are kind of weak, though. Let's test your knowledge. SAS per kippy. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. Never stop thinking. <laughs> That'll take more than medicine. You're in bad shape. Zero points. Next. Oh, that guy's down. You have the worst luck running into me. What's this? Take this. <laughs> I'm okay. <sighs> Uh oh. Let's test your knowledge. Fail. Get out. Okay, we took out the whole team. That was actually kind of awesome. Never stop thinking. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. I feel like that should hit everybody. That feels like it should take everybody down. Savor the vigor. I told you I could fight. <sighs> Zero points. Next. And that guy's down. Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Uh, gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Are they both down? Think. Nap time. They're down. Okay. We handled that masterfully. Is there anything even over here? I don't think there's anything even over here. How do I even get up there? I don't know how to get over there. It's like down here. I don't think I've ever been down there. It's like on a different plane. Elevator that takes me down. Oh, there was an elevator in here, wasn't there? Like over this way? I think last time I was here I said I it said I couldn't use it, but maybe I can use it now. Oops. You're not weak against being hit with a baseball bat. Rules are made to be broken. Uh, 
Never stop thinking. <laughs> That'll take more than savor the vigor of life. My turn. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, not the barrier. I'm asking the questions. Let's test your knowledge. Naughty children, don't listen. <laughs> Watch this! Batter up! Oh, come on, stop the barriers. Do you have... <laughs> Nap time. Rest in spaghetti. Isn't there like an elevator that went down somewhere? Oh wait, oh it's just here. Never mind, it's just right here. Uh aren't you this wait, hold on, isn't this the same guy that was in charge of the medical thing? Isn't that the same guy that was in charge of the medical thing? Why is he now the senior mine operator? Hold on. What was it? Hold, hold on. Uh, sir? Sir? Sir, you're the same goofy mofo that was in charge of the medical thing because I, re I would recognize those suspenders and you busting out of that shirt anywhere. <laughs> calm down, calm down. We're all here to work for a living. Why not sit down and talk it out? Save it. We treated you as our leader, but look how you treated us. Y'all gonna beat this guy up? What's happening? Such a rat! You sold the intel about the vein to Antonia, but we discovered it first. Now we've lost the mine, and we have to work for those guys. Traitor! <laughs> well... Nothing to say for yourself, huh? So you admit that you sold the intel to the mining team? Go away, you brute! Don't bully my daddy! Oh, that's your dad. Oh, little hook? Oh, no, no, you have it wrong. It's your daddy who bullied us first. Ask him if you don't believe me. Daddy? Yes, I told Antonia about the vein. But I was the first one to discover it. I have the right to do anything with it. It's only because you have that detector. Let's see who's boss when we take it from you. Oh. Back off. I was thinking about the bigger picture when I did that. Unlike you all who just look for trouble every day. Well, I think someone needs to teach you a lesson. Guys, get him. You'll never lay a finger on daddy without passion through hook. Oh, uh... Yeah, everybody take it easy. Come and help Hook. Uh, all, all right. Another punching bag? Fine by me. Uh, y'all... Y'all could try, but I've got a magic space bat. And also a bunch of friends. I'm asking the questions. Let's test your knowledge. <laughs> That'll take more than medicine. One of which is going to drop a giant pillar in your head. I don't think y'all were prepared. You brought a spear to a column fight. Savor the vigor. I told you I could fight. Fail. Get out. Oh, they weren't ready. They weren't prepared for this battle. Never stop thinking. Oh, the battle's over. He's dead already. Oh, I was ready to go for like three or four more turns, sir. Can you get back up? Uh, just a few scratches. How about you, Hook? Don't worry about me. I have Diggertron. No one can hurt me. 
I don't think you, you didn't do anything. Good. That's good. And uh, you, young lady, are you hurt? No. Thank you. For they died, like, immediately. Amaya, we would never hurt you. Are you free of work? Did they set you free? Uh, I remember. You are the outsiders Natasha mentioned before, right? I heard that you helped resolve some conflicts around the mines when you arrived. And again today, <laughs> when you saved my life. Yeah, I just wanted to fight them. Uh, uh, whatever your motivation was, I appreciate your help. Daddy, let's go to the old witch's clinic. You're seriously hurt. Old witch? No, don't call Natasha an old witch. But Natasha's the lovely. The detector that rapscallion was after. Somebody already stole it from me. I need to keep searching. Otherwise, I might never see it again. It's just a tool. Uh, I guess I should let it go. Uh, let's head to the clinic. Let me guess. We're going to have to find it for him. Is that Ooh. all? Lazy miner, wake up! Get up! Wait, peek? I can peek inside the tent? Oh. <laughs> it's time to wake up! <laughs> we meet again. Seems like we have a connection. What? Wait, is his name Peek? What? Breakfast? Usually just have one meal per day. Isn't the first meal of the day called breakfast? It's not like... I might die. Look, I'm a fr I'm alive and doing just fine. And don't look at me with all that pity. It's nothing. By the way, why did you wake me up again? I'm curious. Why are you so lazy? <laughs> yeah, sir. Sir, why are you so lazy? Hi, Trag. <laughs> Lazy? No, I'm not lazy. It's just my way of life. It's not like I don't do anything at all. I simply do the minimum amount, but I do my work on time. If you ask me, mining is not worth the effort and energy. Digging every day can trap the mind. My way of breaking the cycle is to sleep. I stay clear of the world's disturbances through this low-cost act, and I regularly reflect on my life. Uh-huh. Yeah, I didn't actually want to talk to you, sir. I thought I was peeking inside the tent. I didn't realize your name was Peek. Yeah, you're okay. Like I said, I don't I don't mind people talking about it. I just don't plan on playing it myself. Oh, uh, you're at work and kind of tired. Oh no, you want to come in here and uh, to mention something. No worries. Welcome on in, my friend. <gasps> oh, Trotter! Trotter! It's coming! Trotter! 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 Beat the shit out of him! Beat him up! Do we need to heal? We don't need to heal. Beat the shit out of him! You have answers. Beat the shit out of him! Let's test Beat him! Knowledge. We need his sweet gooey insides! That'll take more than sweet that. gooey insides! Nap time. <laughs> no, we're not gonna beat you, Amaya. We need his sweet gooey insides. Let's go. Sweet gooey insides. Better up! Rules are made to be broken. Beat the shit out of him. Uh, I'm just gonna beat him up. I want to scooey inside, so then we'll worry about the others. Stop beating up my friends. I'm trying to get the insides of this trotter. Leave my friends alone. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> trying to get his delicious snacks. Uh, I guess we could heal. Just a scratch. Uh, the post you showed yesterday was fake, made because they didn't like animal abuse. The person who made it admitted to it? Uh, I mean, I know the creature that was shown is not faked, because I've seen it in other playthroughs on YouTube. Just a little something. 
Because I have been watching playthroughs on YouTube, so I know the creature is not fake. Defense. Time for a shot. Savor the vigor of The creature is definitely in the game. I've seen the creature in the game. Like, I've seen it in playthroughs. They may have, like, faked how close it is, like, to the model. Mediocre. But I've definitely seen that creature in, like, video playthroughs on YouTube. Because um, I've been watching Moist Critical's playthrough of the game. Never stop thinking. Oh, saying he scaled it up to fit in it and everything. So it's not that the, f the creature is fake. It's just that they Essay they fake some aspects of how close it is. Knowledge yeah, I know the creature is real. Things. It reveals truth and falsehood. Naughty children, don't listen. Nap time. Uh. My turn. Watch this. Let's make it quick. Cause yeah, I've seen I've seen that creature in the games. <laughs> Time for a shot. But yeah, maybe they <laughs> maybe they Much embellished how close it was, but it still looks very similar to the Pokemon either way. You probably find the one that I've seen you got in one of your saves, which isn't the one used in their Twitter post. Uh, maybe it's just one that looks very similar to it, because like I said, I haven't played the game. So, like, I haven't looked at them extensively, but they still, everything that I've seen still looks very similar, too similar to me, the Pokemon, to feel like that's original enough to be worth playing. Uh, where am I going? Oh, I'm going back to the clinic? Am I not looking for his jam out here? I thought I was looking for his jam. But that wasn't the only model that was... was... was shown to have very clear overlays so if it was only that one that was not the only one care of your that was shown I'm to have very clear these days, though, so overlays i don't know if the other ones were disproven i haven't been on twitter today don't pretend you didn't hear that hook i'm talking to you hook wasn't the one that caused trouble it was those bad guys we were just defending ourselves and ask her We shouldn't indulge kids. Hey, whose side are you on? I'm glad we're on the same page. We can't just. Oh, Trag, I'm sorry to hear that, my friend. I hope you have a, a good evening if you're stuck at work. I'm sorry to hear that. <sighs> That's enough for now. I'll say this one last time, Hook. If you cause any trouble again, I'll take Diggertron away. What is. What is Diggertron? Is that like a teddy bear? What the fuck is that? The boss of the moles should stick to her word. <laughs> I have patience to take care of. See you later. What is that? Is that like her I teddy bear? If it weren't for you and Dr. Natasha, Hook and I probably would have been in big trouble. <sighs> well... A few days ago, I found a Geomarrow vein using a vein detector, and I sold this info to Antonia, a, a supervisor of the mining team. 
I'm loving Honkai so far. This game's amazing. Then those vagrants heard about it and accused me of being a traitor. They believe that since I'm also a vagrant who came from another mine and ended up in here for a living, I should naturally be on their side. The mining team could not agree with that, of course. <sighs> I'm just too old for this. Just too old. Daddy, are we short on money? Why did you do that? My poor child. Daddy is old now. <laughs> Who knows how long I can stay by your side? I have to start preparing for your future. People say I'm selfish, think I'm a traitor, but it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> He's All seen you some shit. <laughs> is when I'm gone, you will got a stylish hat. To take care of yourself and survive. On I want one own. of those hats with the ear flaps. Daddy, forget about it. Since I've got the money from the mining team, I have nothing to complain about now. It's just a shame that I lost my vein detector. It was indeed a treasure. I kind of wish in this game when you put, like, the cosmetics on the characters, it actually, like, you could dress up your characters. I think that'd be kind of cool. Relic that I found in a mine. At least even with just your, like, your character. Teams used for detecting geomarrow veins long ago. I often carried it around looking for a fresh claim. Perhaps some villains up to no good took notice. It's a rare device, you know. But we specialize in villains. Stole it. Uh, anyway, I guess I don't need the detector anymore. The less trouble, the better. I shouldn't care who stole my device. <laughs> Whoever it was, I hope they get good use out of it. Hook seems oh, to be that's new. Hook's weapon, like the giant Hook claws. Wants to talk to you outside the clinic now. Oh my God, did Jolene just talk during a cutscene? Hold on. Hold the phone. Jolene just talked during a cutscene. I think it was internal monologue, but holy shit. So that's why people call eyes the windows to the soul. Oh my god, Jolene's talking during a cutscene. Holy shit. Uh, hold this conversation. We're having a very important character development moment over here. Jolene is talking during cutscenes. Just not outwardly talking. More of inward. Hook needs you to help with something. Okay. Yes, we can't just stand by and do nothing. Detector is daddy's treasure, so I gotta get it back. You'll help me, won't you? Will you take no for an answer? <laughs> I don't want to help you. <laughs> as long as you behave yourself. All right, then. I'll be waiting for you at the shelter in the mine, big sister. No, no, wait. No, don't. Don't. Don't call me that. But don't. Don't call me that. I mean. Uh... See ya. You don't. Let's, let's, let's nip that in the bud right here. We're not, that's not going to be a nickname that's going to stick. Why is there a puzzle piece? Minecart test? A senior miner. Oh, that's the other quest that we have to do. I never did that. Where is that? Oh, that's over here. You're, oh, you're the guy. I'm on to you. I know who you really are. You work for the medical thingamabob. Watch carefully. This thing is called a, the turntable controller. You put your hand here and then do this. So where did you pop out from? Do you need me for something? We're going to be your assistant instructor. Huh? What? Insist assistant instructor? Oh, I see. And Tony, you sent you here, didn't she? That girl always makes decisions for me without first consulting me. I've told her many times that I can deal with this myself. But now that you're here, I can't tell... I can't let you just hang around and do nothing. Uh, all right, let's get started. All right, come give me a hand. Help me set things up. Well, hold on. Uh, what? Are, hold on. What are we doing? What's happening? What's what? Uh, what's going on here? 
what are we doing here? Already. Hey, kid, come over here. Do you see what's in front of you? Yes, but I don't think I fully understand. I'm not going to explain how mine carts and tracks... No, no, you may need to. Uh, you grew up in the underworld. No, no, actually, I'm from space, so... Um, I don't know how this stuff works. And if you've never seen them before, you're, you've probably heard of them. Yeah, I've, heard, I've definitely heard of them. The thing you need to pay attention to is this. The track controller. The principle is very simple. Operate the controller like I just told you. And the disconnected track on the turn out will then be connected together. We're gonna we're gonna wreck this cart. After that, the geomero light on the connected track will light up. You can then use this to judge which direction the minecart will go. Okay. Then comes this blocker. As the name implies, the blocker will block the route of the minecart. If the minecart is stopped by one of the I Listen, I'm just going to send it. Let's just send it. We're going to full send. We're just going to full send. What kind of teacher just assumed you heard of things? Well, we're the, the assistant instructor. We're, we're the assistant instructor, so he's not instructing us. I think we're instructing this other guy over here. We're assisting in the instruction. He's assuming that we already know how to do this, um, and we're assisting in the instruction. <laughs> Uh, that's it. I'm done. You just groaned and moaned and didn't say anything. So I'm not sure if you're getting all this. <laughs> oh, fuck. He could hear me. <coughs> hey, wait. Is this thing? Is this thing going to the TV? Hold on. <laughs> I drunk for a while. You could have grown up with a bucket on your head. He, he doesn't know. <laughs> How do you know I grew up with a bucket on my head? Were you, were you there during my childhood, drunk furball? Did you grow up somewhere near me? Uh, but I have a way to test you. See, the test rig has been set up for you already. Show me how you'll go about operating it. Uh, I'm not sure about this. What do you mean? Oh, he's talking to this guy. He's not even talking to me. Well, it's way too hard. What did you say? Like I said, it's too hard. How should I go about it? I don't understand. How many times have I taught you this already? Huh? When we talk about the theory, you seem to be pretty onto it, but that's, uh, but why is it always a cop out when it comes to the real thing? Anyone with any shred of intelligence should have mastered this a long time ago. Operate the controller, change the track, move forward, operate the controller again, and then reverse. Where's the difficulty in that? I still can't figure it out. Brat, you're trying to send me to an early grave, aren't you? You come here, show him how it's done. Yeah, I'm only... I'm only an instructor assistant. <laughs> Enough nonsense. Isn't this why Antonio sent you here in the first place? Uh, well, Let's get started. If you want the minecart to be reset, feel free to talk to me. Uh-oh. Eh, I'm sure I'll be fine. Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Hmm. Oh, I didn't see it because I had the bucket on my head. I see. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Push the mine cart. Oh, wait, that was it? That's all I had to do? Oh, I'm a mine cart expert. There you go. I did it. How do I know what do I do? I, I, I did it. Nice. Come on. Let me give you a little something. But it's not over yet. Hang on. I'll get another one for you. No, no, no. That's okay. Oh. Looks good. There's another one? Great. The venue's all sorted. Are you up for the next challenge? All right. Now that's the spirit. Let's begin. Watch carefully, girl. The blocker with the yellow light on the stop uh, on is the stop for the loaded minecart. The empty minecart should be driven to the stop with the blue light. O okay. Uh, oh, okay. 
foot. Is this stuck? Oh no! Wait, can I push it still? Oh, I can still push it, okay. Okay. Perfect, beautiful. That's what you like to see. Well, this is easy. Why do you need to do it? Why do you need to take a test to do this? This is easy. This is easy peasy. Y'all need to take a test to do this? Oh, y'all need to take a test? Uh, you're gutsy and smarter than this kid. Take this reward and I'll get another one. No, how many of these are there? Is that all? Uh, venues also are okay. Watch carefully, girl. The blocker with the yellow light on is the stop for the loaded minecart, okay? If a minecart needs to load or unload the geo marrow, it needs to be moved to the stop next to the geo marrow pile first. What? So I need to get geo marrow? Got the marrow? I didn't see you because I had a bucket on my head. That makes sense. No, 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 load the ores. Don't unload the ores. What are you doing? You're making your life more difficult. Unloading and reloading the ores. Push the freaking minecart. You just did double the work. Challenge complete. Where did our guy go? Look, I did it. Yeah, I solved it. Does that mean I told you anyone with half a brain should have learned all of this ages ago? <laughs> yeah, being an assistant instructor, instructor isn't... No, no, it's pretty easy. <laughs> Who are you calling half a brain? <laughs> uh, it's just a minecart. I guess it's time to get serious. Uh, so now you're getting motivated. Were you just slacking off most of the time? I'll deal with my lazy apprentice later. Thank you for your help today. Here, take this as your reward. Oh yeah, and remember to say hello to Antonia for me. That being said, the puzzle that I gave you gave to the brat today was nothing more than an appetizer. The tricky stuff is yet to come. You're interested in minecarts. I can set up the site for you. With a smart girl like you to motivate him, that brat might actually put a bit more effort into things. Your reward is over there. Go take a look. Oh. Oh. Did, is this the end of the quest? Like, how long does this quest go on for? Missions. Wait, did I finish the quest? Based on samples, uh, Dr. Dig, Fight Club. Wait, where is the quest? Where's this quest?
Did I finish it? Oh, I think I finished it. At this point, I think it's just like extra. Oh, yeah, it's gone. Now I think it's just like extra missions if I want to do them. How many crystals have I gotten? Oh, they'll come in via text, okay. I can leave. That's why I don't. That's why I don't like Hook. I can go. I can just go back to doing the story. Let me introduce you to Sweta. She is Daddy's. Ex excuse me. Sweta. Is that a name or is that the article of clothing that she's wearing? Not at all. Mr. Fursman trusts every vagrant, and every one of us trusts Mr. Fursman. But after what happened over at that Geomero vein, the atmosphere at the shelter became a bit. Tense. Okay. Nobody likes when things get tense. I'm here to find Daddy's treasure, his vein detector. I heard that someone stole it. Is that true? Well, I would guess that's probably true. After the conflict in the mine, Wildfire gathered everyone out of the shelter and took a head count to check on the wounded. Four people were not there. When we returned to the shelter, Mr. Fursman's detector was gone. We searched all around the shelter, but found nothing. I guess one of those four people was the thief. Yeah, they picked the wrong Indeed. time to commit a crime. Now we narrowed down the scope of our search considerably. We vagrants have our dignity, too. I'm sure we will catch the thief, but... But... What? Actually, we've already asked those four... Can't believe her name is Sweta. They all claim to not have stolen anything. Of course, we could never expect thieves to confess and turn themselves in, right? In my opinion, one of those four was lying. Okay, so all we have to do is rough them up and make them confess. Yeah, we arrest all of them and all interrogate vagrants. them all. None of us have the authority to arrest anyone just because we feel like it. Yeah, but I could arrest them. I'm from space. I'll put them on my train. My space train. Let's see whose words contradict with the facts. And that person would be the thief. All four suspects are at the shelter. If you're feeling confident, why not give it a try? Oh. Maybe you can determine who the thief is. Oh, okay. I'm definitely qualified for this. Uh, adults are so dishonest. Hook's gonna question them one by one. No, I don't trust Hook to do this. I'll handle it. Hi! Hmm? Hook? What's the matter? Did you steal Daddy's detector? <laughs> we gotta be a little bit more discreet, Hook. What? Oh, if I'd known I would become a suspect, I wouldn't have gone out at that time. How foolish of me. We just need you to answer a few questions. This feels like good cop, bad cop. <laughs> Hook is bad cop, but I'll be good cop. Okay. Mask away. It would be good to clear myself of suspicion. Nothing special. I just went out to get some fresh air. Oh dear, oh dear. I know that's a lame alibi, but I swear it's the truth. Uh-huh. Likely story. Helper. That sounds like a fake name. Mr. Firstman? He's a good person. Though... Oh, it... Uh, never mind. What? The what? No, oh, no, no. I must sound very suspicious. You sound very you suspicious. Do you have to believe me. I don't believe you. Detector? No, I haven't seen anything, and I don't know anything. Are you sure? Is that all the questions you have? I have I've lots of questions. I don't think you did. <laughs> I figured it out. Oh, dear. All this waiting around is enough to make me even more anxious. Yeah, you better be anxious. Gotta keep him on his toes. I'm gonna tell them all that I figured it out. Did you steal Daddy's detector? <laughs> what? How 
How could you say that? You're gonna make me angry. <laughs> you better not get angry. I'll get my baseball bat out. You know what a businessman values the most? Reputation. I don't care. Your slander ruins my reputation and harms my business. You'll pay for that. Well, I think you'll pay for it. Uh, well, then answer our questions. We'll decide if we believe you or not. I think this is a suspect numero uno right now. I have the right to remain silent. Oh, this guy's our suspect. I withhold my opinion toward this question. This guy's our suspect. No comment. This guy's our suspect. Carefully and give your answer to Diggertron this time. Wait, are we fighting? I've seen all sorts of things in my life. Why would I be afraid of you two little rascals? Uh, we beat up robots in our free time. Here, how about we make a deal? I'll tell you what I know in exchange for a small intel service fee. Don't Fair be and suspicious. Honest. Don't be suspicious. Oh, don't be suspicious. Don't yeah, that's be not going to happen. We're not giving you any money. We're not giving you anything. Yeah, looks like I can only continue exercising my right to remain silent. It's up to you. Or. Or. Try to threaten me with wildfire, huh? <laughs> you think I'm afraid of them? Yeah, I do. You sound afraid. Let's tell Zila to take him away. That's right. Huh? Uh, no, please don't. Look, I, I was only joking. Fine, I'll answer your questions. Please just don't pull wildfire into this. Yeah, that's what I thought. I went into town to restock. Nothing out of the ordinary, right? I restock on a regular basis. Everyone knows that. I was wondering why there was nobody at the shelter. Bursman is an old customer of mine. He's pretty nice to me, though we are not so close. As to what he did about that Geo Marrow vein, it was kind of unethical. Mm -hmm. We're all neighbors. We've known each other for a long time. But he sold out to the other side and left his own people out to dry. I really can't agree with that. Look, the cook is definitely the thief. I'm the sure cook. about that. I value my reputation more than anything, so you can trust me. In my line of work, I've learned to read people. And something's definitely fishy with that cook. Are you sure he's not he's start. just not just cooking fish? Me, just ask anyone. Who should I ask? Are you the cook? Who's the cook? You're the tailor. Where's the cook? Are you the cook? Who's the cook? I've heard that you're suspicious. What's this? Playing detective, are we? Yeah, and you're our main suspect right now. Spill it! Did you steal my daddy's detector? You little brat. How dare you label me a thief? Someone needs to give you a good lesson on manners. I'm an honest and decent man. I, I think, think you're a thief. Shady thing. <laughs> anyway, How dare. That. If you really didn't steal anything, then just answer our questions. Oh, you have a temper, huh? All right. I'll see I have even more of a temper. Your little detective game. That old Fursman was kind to me. When we were at Rivet Town, he put me in charge of the whole mining team's food supply. Mm -hmm. And it's because I trusted him that I came to this mine with him. I mean, I didn't expect he would take that money for himself. Anyway, he found that Geo Marrow vein by himself, so I won't blame him for not sharing. But you know, what he did was not like the old Fursman I knew. I'm a cook. What else would I be doing? Don't you notice the smoky cooking smell all over me? Okay. It's just that I happen to be out shopping for ingredients at that time. Otherwise, who'd want anything to do with this kind of thing? Well, I don't want to be a snitch, but out of my respect for Fursman, I'll tell you a secret. Okay, what's the secret? The helper over there? I saw him sneak into Fursman's tent and come uh -huh. out holding a box. A box? See? Isn't he the most suspicious one? Yeah, I don't think that's up to you. <laughs> I don't care if you believe me or not. I've told you all I know. Now leave me alone if you don't have any more questions. I'm busy. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea who did it. 
<laughs> hey, Peek, did you see anything while you were napping over here? I gotta be honest, I have no idea who did it. Did you steal Daddy's detector? Nope. I'm no thief. Really? Then you better answer our questions honestly. Unless the tailor tells us something helpful, I have no idea who Ask did it. Away. Let's not waste time. Spacing out. Spacing out where? Wait, were you here? Good man. But a bit of a cheapskate. Because the one guy said nobody was here. Nope. What detector? Hey, would you mind talking more nicely? I think it was them. What? I always talk like this. Mm, I think it might have been you. I don't feel like she's the thief. No. Uh, Hook's head is spinning. Do you remember everything they said? Uh, yeah, but I have no, no idea who it was. It all down for you. Oh, that's remember, good. Among these four people, only the real thief would lie. Uh huh. The cook said the helper did it. The tailor said it wasn't her. Yeah, well, they all said it wasn't them. The merchant said it was the cook. Uh huh. And the helper said it wasn't him. Uh huh. So, Billy! Do you know who the culprit is? I have no idea who the culprit is. Uh, what do you think, Hook? I think the cook and merchant are the most suspicious. My gut tells me that one of them is the culprit. Uh. Don't worry. Even if you choose the wrong one, Pitch Dark Hook the Great has other ways to uncover the true culprit. What? Right. We have other methods besides deductive reasoning to find out who the true thief is. You do? Let's just examine what they've said first to decide. <sighs> the cook said the helper did it. The tailor said it wasn't her. Uh huh. The merchant said it was the cook. Hi, Lily. And the helper said it wasn't him. Yeah. So, do you know who the culprit is? The. <laughs> No. The merchant was being pretty sus, though. So maybe the merchant. I don't know why, but I'll trust your judgment. All right, we're going with the merchant. <laughs> we're sending it. Let's go accuse the culprit. Yep, let's go accuse the culprit. All right, we're sending it. You are a criminal. What if they're? What if it was all of them? You gotta be kidding me. You thought about it for that long and came up with this conclusion? Yep. Uh, you mean we got it wrong? I gave you the answer and you still couldn't crack the case, detective. Why don't you just go home? <laughs> uh, yeah, to be so I mean. I told you it was the cook. Even if you asked me a hundred times, my answer would still be the cook. Well, maybe you're just trying to trick us. Is it that hard for you to admit you were wrong? Have you ever heard of something called logic? Just no. you wait. I'll find evidence, and <laughs> then you'll be begging me for mercy. <laughs> All right, go ahead and look. Okay, I will. Let's go look around where Daddy kept the detector. Maybe we can find some clues there. Uh, this is the tent that Fursman temporarily borrowed in the shelter. It looks like it has been rummaged and a packing label has fallen on the ground. Why did we do this first? Box. I know where those boxes are. Oh shit, it was the helper, wasn't it? That way. Let's go take a look. Why didn't we do this first before we falsely accuse somebody? An empty supply crate from the shelter. Judging by its label, it was used to store emergency tents. A supply crate from the shelter. It's wet, as if it has been salvaged from the underground river. Judging by its label, it was used to store emergency food. Life crate, shelter, transport, long journey, barely recognizable. Some text is printed on the box. Rivet Town. The 
people must have been on this box. Wait a minute. What is that smell? I don't know. What is that smell? It's got a spicy smell. Mm, oh shit! It was. Like stone God. God damn it! It was the cook. Not too many people smell like this. God damn it. To have taken Daddy's treasure. It was the and cook. It seems that this damaged probe is one of the detector's components. It's the cook. Has Daddy's treasure been sold already? Oh, where could the thief have gone? Hmm. Pink hook. Pink. It's the cook. Mr. Sampo on the way to the mine when I came here. Could he be involved in this? Shampoo! <laughs> Follow Hook! Mr. Sampo should be that away! Yeah, shampoo definitely has something to do with this. I don't trust shampoo Mr. with anything. Sampo's always at the clinic hanging around Miss Natasha. Hook thought he was really sick or something. No, shampoo's just a creep. He's working with the thief. Then he's... My friend, are you serious? This device is quite rare. Are you really willing to sell it to me at such a low price? No, no, why are you making this so complicated? Do you want it or not? Just tell me. You two stop right there. Pitch Dark Hook the Great has arrived. <laughs> oh boy, I knew it was too good to be true. I, I gotta make busted. I have nothing to do with this fella. You have to trust me, Miss Hook. Please don't point that thing at me. It's scary. What thing? Hey, how can you sell me out like that? We had a deal. You, you stole Daddy's treasure. Diggertron will not spare you. This, this is all that old Fursman's fault. Just because he has this device I'm holding, he can make a fortune. It's not fair! I mean, it's his. Um, do what he wants well, with it. It seems you guys have some issues to sort out, so maybe I should leave. Can we fight him now? Yeah, I mean, you can get your own cool device. What kind of a reason are you looking for? With the underworld in such a sad state, how are we supposed to survive if we don't resort to robbing and stealing? You know, you could, you know, buy them or maybe build one of your own <laughs> or make friends. I got the device now. Come take it if you have the guts. He wants to die. Hmm. All right. Digger Tron, get ready. Oh, we're fighting. We're actually fighting him. Oh, shit. Welcome, Raiders. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Dem Turk, how are you? Welcome. Welcome. I didn't think we were actually going to end up fighting him. I thought he, he was going to, like, get scared as soon as he realized we were actually going to fight him. I thought he was going to, like, wimp out as soon as we actually decided to fight him. Dem Turk, how are you, my friend? Welcome. What were you playing? We were playing Final Fantasy VII. Which uh, which Final Fantasy VII, like OG Final Fantasy VII, or uh, the the remake? Are you prepping for part two of the remake? You're in bad shape. And how was it? We are playing some Honkai Star Rail. I'm absolutely loving this game. What's this? Let's make it quick. Uh, you're doing the OG, doing a refresh on what the rebirth section is? Hell yeah, I haven't played the OG Final Fantasy VII in probably like 10 years. Uh, just wrapped up the two big side quests. All that's left are super bosses in the final dungeon. Hell yeah. Like, of the whole game or just the section that's... Oh, that's the rebirth section. So the section that's going to be for the new game coming out. You played this game a lot. I just started playing a couple weeks ago, so I'm fairly new to the game. Whole game. Ooh, hell yeah.
Oh, you meant seven. You've yet to play this. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I played like OG seven years and years ago. Never stop thinking. Um, I want to replay the original seven remake before I get the uh, the new part. I don't know if I have a chance to before the new part comes out. It reveals truth and falsehood. This game is really good. I highly recommend. I have played some of Genshin also, and I enjoy this game significantly more than Genshin. <laughs> you sure talk tough for someone who can't fight. Come on, hand the detector over to Hook. Hmm. Huh? Oh, Daddy's treasure! Oh. It's broken! I mean, we did just drop a giant pillar on top of him. Are you surprised that it's broken? <laughs> Life is full of disappointments! <laughs> Sorry, kid! Our character is such an asshole at times. Why do we always have one option in the dialogues? It's just like the our character is an asshole option. Hey, now this is Sampo's time to shine. Oh, OK, shampoo. I didn't. I was kind of hoping you were going to be gone by the time we got out of the cutscene. I want to miss out on seeing you and Miss Hook's acts of heroism, <laughs> would I? <laughs> the pokey pr uh, professor, prof. How are you, my friend? Welcome. The classic JRPG options. Goodest of boys or outright asshat. <laughs> Welcome, my friend. There are so many like really funny options where we we could just be like a huge ass. Listen here. And it's really There's funny in this game. In Boulder Town they call Balloway the Miner's Lamp. He's an appraiser. Although he claims that he doesn't do appraisals anymore for ancient relics, he actually still does a bit behind the scenes for ones that are of especially high value. Whoever did the translation for this game did like an amazing job. I think this device of yours is probably worth a lot. It might be a good idea to try your luck with Balloway. Hey, Junior Boy! How are you, my friend? Oh, this game's mechanically close to trails. Ooh, this is one of those games that I know, like once you're caught up, it's uh, one of those games where you come back to it every once in a while because they release like patches, like story updates and patches and stuff. You might pick up. Well, this game is free, so that's one of the nice things. Unless you decide to like drop money on like. Like the gotcha mechanics. This game is like 100% free, unless you're gonna try and pull characters and stuff, which I have not spent any money on yet. Pretend that you want to sell it for a low price, then wait for him to excitedly fix the device for you. After it's fixed, tell him you changed your mind and you want to keep it for yourself. It uh, it seems very doable to just play this game completely free to play. This business tactic is what I call a bait and switch. Pretty clever. Uh... Shampoo, that seems that that seems a little bit a little bit on the crooked side. Halloween the minor slamp. Got it. Thanks, Mr. Sampo. Also, his name's Sampo, but well, I thought his name was Shampoo when I first saw his name. Um, so I call him Shampoo. It's going to town to find him. Have a safe trip! He was one of our first character pools, and I thought his name was Shampoo. I thought he had an H in his name um, before I realized there was no H, so I'm, I call him Shampoo. Uh, but this game is by the same makers as Genshin, Genshin Impact. Um, but I like it a lot more than Genshin. I tried Genshin for a while, couldn't really get into the story of Genshin. And, oh, this is a, this is a new one. I don't really know if I can do these yet. Oh, I could probably do this one. 32. Oh, we could do this one. Uh, recommend it. Oh, I don't really have those characters leveled up. Maybe we can't. I don't have characters of those types leveled up. Although I may have level up materials. You can't hear shampoo without thinking of a particular airheaded Amazon. Is that from... Someone told me there was a character in Ranma? That's named Shampoo. 
because they were actually offended that I was calling him shampoo because I guess they like okay I've never seen Ranma uh, but they were offended that I was calling him shampoo uh, we actually have I pulled him like I actually have him as a playable character I've never used him before because uh, apparently most a lot of folks don't like him uh, let's level up some of our characters Oh, I don't have that many. I thought I had more things. Never mind. Yeah, I've never seen Ronma. I've always heard really good things about it, but I've never watched it. Junior boy, you're doing good. I'm really glad to hear it, my friend. You're up really late tonight. Uh, where is this quest taking me? Uh, it's a series very much of its time made by the same creator. Oh, is Ranma made by the same the same creator as Inuyasha? Oh, it was you, Sam. You were the one that, that said that you were offended that I was calling them shampoo. I didn't realize Ranma was made by the same creator as Inuyasha. Oh shit. I used to watch Inuyasha when it was on Adult Swim. Although I wasn't, I was never like a crazy fan of Inuyasha back in the day. Miner's Lamp has stopped all appraisal services. The announcement has all the details. Uh, announcement, what announcement? Are you here to cause trouble? No, it's not. I would never cause trouble. What? Hold on. Are you from the outside? Everyone's talking about your story. No wonder you don't know me. That was embarrassing. Please excuse me. My name is Battleway. I am the an expert in relic appraisal. People all call me Miner's Lamp. Nice to meet you. Anyway, effective from today, I, Miner's Lamp, Battleway, will stop all appraisal services. It's a long story. You can have a look at this notice. Or do you have other business? I'm already retired from appraising ancient relics, so unless this detector is some kind of precious treasure... Yeah, I know Empress Lily, who I think is here? I, her walk-on played a little while ago, was a huge fan of Inuyasha. I could never get into Inuyasha when I used to watch it on Adult Swim. I used to always watch it, I think it was on before Full Metal Alchemist, and I could never get into Inuyasha. It had a very much, like, Monster of the Week format, at least the parts that I watched, and I just couldn't... I couldn't get into it. Also, I would hear Inuyasha screaming Kagome in my sleep, because I feel like that was, like, a good 60% of the series. Uh, Rumiko is very much a gag anime kind of person when it came to her stories. The series before Ranma was very gag based. Ranma was where she started doing story stuff. Inuyasha finally hit that balance. Hell yeah. Yeah, I know a lot of people loved Inuyasha. I also don't think I was the intended audience for Inuyasha. Because I think Inuyasha was meant to be more for like, if you were into like romance and uh, like that kind of stuff. Because it was all about, like, the relationship between, like, Inuyasha and Kagome, and, like, I think the action took more of, like, a sideline, and, like, the story... Like, maybe the story picked up later on, and I, like, fell off before it got good. Um, but maybe I just never got that far into it. Um, I just felt like it dragged on for too long before it started getting into, like, actual story. Oh, ho, ho, this certainly is a rare relic. Let me take a closer look. Oh, yes, look extra close. You have to help Hook fix it. This device... I've been in the business for a long time, but never have I seen an ancient relic like this one before. I think this is probably beyond repair. Oh, no. But still, it is a rare treasure. Even broken, I'd be willing to pay a high price for it. What do you say?
The detector's probe is gone. It's like searching for something without eyes or ears. Who's going to want a pile of junk? I don't believe any other stores will buy it off you. Come on, I'll give you a nice deal. Oh, I was very, very stretched out. Yeah, that's how I always felt. I mean, I didn't get really far. In, in fact, I think, wasn't there like a period of time where the dub of Inuyasha didn't air? And then like eventually they aired it as like the final season or something? I remember seeing that advertised like years later. It was like the final saga or something. Yeah, I feel like he's just trying to fool us into selling it to him. Uh, Takashi doesn't do character progression that well. Inuyasha was the best. Uh, she, uh, she, the best she did, and it still felt like it ran in place for a lot of people who weren't super into it. Yeah, that's how it always felt for me. I was always more into like more like story driven stuff. Like at the time I was super into Full Metal Alchemist and I think Trigun might have been on uh Adult Swim at that time. Been, Hook? I was just about to go looking for you. Come on, let's go home. I'll cook some salt baked rock crabs for you. And those were both like super like fast paced story driven series. <laughs> OG Full Metal Alchemist, not Brotherhood. That was before What's Brotherhood. This kid? Vein detector? The one I lost? Big sister and Hook helped Daddy catch the thief that stole it. No, 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 not Big Sister. We said we were going to drop that, remember? But Daddy's detector is broken. It's all my fault. If only I could have found it sooner. So it was stolen. Uh, you're not hurt, are you, Hook? I'm fine. Uh, Daddy, can you see if your detector still works? Mm. The Geo Marrow probe is damaged. I'm afraid this thing won't work anymore. <sighs> I'm sorry, Daddy. I didn't help one bit. What are you apologizing for? <laughs> Thank you so much for looking out for me, Hook. But that is treasure. <laughs> I I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Don't cry, Hook. Daddy's true treasure has been here all along. I oh, know we're gonna have lost, gonna have a heartfelt moment. All broken. an adorable treasure mm. I have imagined that this treasure probably cries a lot cry. the detector helped me find lots of geo marrow veins and it saved the mining team a lot of money in that respect it was a very good thing but at the end of the day the detector is just a tool a true treasure must have irreplaceable importance to someone. Hook doesn't really understand. <laughs> it's okay. Why do Hook's I'm boots look like she's always standing on her tiptoes? You will understand someday. Those don't look like comfortable boots. It looks like she's always standing on her tiptoes. So... The treasure daddy's talking about is still happily running and jumping around. Daddy, <laughs> you you're not allowed to see her cry. Go away. You were just crying. You were literally just crying like three seconds ago. All right, we're going back to the story now. Well, let's see, do we get enough? Or... 
We did. How many do we have now? Oh, we only have two. How many do we have? Maybe we only have seven. We wait until we have enough for a tent pole. All right, we're gonna continue the story now. Back to the story. We have a bunch of side quests, but that's okay. I think they're all like off-world side quests. Oh wait, we have another message from Hook? One, two, three. Are you the honorary member of the Moles? I am Pitch Dark Hook the Great. I borrowed Julian's stuff to message you. I'm not good at typing yet, so it's so difficult, right? I need your help. Come find me, and don't you ever tell that old witch, otherwise you're done for. What? No, Hook. Hook, we just got done with you. No, I'm going to do the story for a little while. We'll come see you later. I put up with you for long enough today. I put up with you for long enough today, Hook. I'm going to do the story for a little while. Hi, Shampoo. Well, my friends, are you ready to head out? Wonderful. Remember to bring enough food and drink to refuel on the way. We have a lot of steps to climb. Mother, I have returned. Rania, I thought... I thought I'd lost you. Where were you? Are, are you hurt? I'll fetch the butler right away. They have a butler? No, there's no need. I don't want to see Sebas right now. Sorry, mother. They have a butler? I'm fine, really. I just got into a few skirmishes down in the underworld, but nothing I couldn't handle. The underworld? Oh, I see. In that case, report everything you saw. Commander Branya. After the failed pursuit at Backwater Pass, the wanted outsiders and I were somehow taken to the underworld. Somehow, we were drugged. Because of the difficult situation we were in, we formed a temporary alliance to help the residents of the underworld resolve a few issues of survival. Mm -hmm. We also defeated an ancient robot known as Svarog and learned some truths about the Stellaron. Yeah, we I also found out that you may or may not be evil. Madame Kakolia, it is my firm belief that the visitors from beyond the sky are not the villains we had imagined before. I witnessed them take up arms in the name of justice and risk their lives for the sake of others. I can also ascertain that they did come for the Stellaron, but only to relieve the disaster it has brought upon Bellabog. Mother, you've always known the truth about the Stellaron, haven't you? Well, the responsibility of bearing that truth will fall upon me one day. Such is the burden of being guardian, to carry these secrets for eternity. So, I ask you to forgive my defiance. I believe that the order to dispatch the Outsiders was a mistake. To solve the problems brought on by the Stellaron, the Architects waited hundreds of years. And those Outsiders may be the... The... Enough! She's evil. What? You should have stayed with us. Arrogant. Ignorant. Oh, you disappoint me, Bronya. Told you she's evil. You merely glimpse the tip of the iceberg, and now you think you know everything. You spend a short time with that underworld scum, and suddenly you have the audacity to question my orders. Guards, take Bronya. Should have stuck with us. They are not scum. My entire life, everything you ever kept from me. I remember it clearly now. This time, this time I am standing my ground, Madam Guardian. And please, 
stop dismissing me with vague excuses. Tell me what you have seen. What exactly it is you are hiding. Why do you send the Silvermane guards to die in the Fragmentum? Why have you abandoned the people of the Underworld? And why? Why did you have that sudden change of mind? He's being controlled by the Stellaron. Huh. I see. I knew this moment would come sooner or later. I just didn't expect it would be so soon. You want to know why I gave those orders? Is that right? Do you believe you're ready to learn the truth? Yes. I am ready. Mother. Then come with me, Bronya. Uh oh, this is probably not good. It is time you heard it. The voice of this dying world. <sighs> We can't just leave us on that cliffhanger. I forgot what fresh air tasted like. Um, um, We're back on the surface. Wait, where did Shampoo go? No. Where's Sampo? How did we lose Shampoo already? Nope. Next question. Where's our next stop? We should find somewhere to put our feet up. As long as it's not Goethe Hotel again. Classic, unreliable Sampo. He probably guessed we'd ask where his hiding place was. No sooner are we back in the administrative district than he sneaks off. Also, should we be standing in the middle of town? Aren't we wanted in, on the surface? The bro or the sis? You're talking about Chapard. We should be careful. He's a top silver main guard. He'd probably get a medal for every one of us he brought in. Yeah, but we can show him the letter. Don Hung, what do you think? I think it'd be best to pay a visit to Serval Landau. Ooh, Serval, hell yeah. So you think we should avoid Jepard for the time being, right? He's an elite officer of the Silver Main Guards. It wouldn't be easy to get to him. Besides, if he hasn't been persuaded by Branya's letter. We'd be walking right into the lines. Yeah, we could just fight him. Mm, makes sense. Guess we better head over to Sir Ball's workshop then. But we must keep a low profile. We're standing in the middle of town. Fugitives. Guys, we're standing in the middle of town. What's wrong, Zila? Nothing. It's just a little new. Oh yeah, she's never been on the surface. The last time I was on the surface. Oh, never mind. I was still a child. I have no memory of any of this. The overworld and the underworld. We've... We've been cut off for so long. I'm okay. Let's go. There are so many Silvermane guards on patrol. Is it usually like this? No. I don't remember the security being this... That's why we shouldn't should be standing in the middle of town. It might have something to do with us. The Supreme Guardian has probably learned Wait, is that me? <laughs> is that supposed to be me? <laughs> there is an expressively unbridled portrait here. Or rather, a wanted poster. The figure in the picture is predominantly grayish white, androgynous. And looking straight at you with a sense of lukewarm lifelessness in their eyes. <laughs> did I draw that wanted poster? It kind of looks like I did. <laughs> Coupled with a structure that appears to be a hand gripping a baseball. Is that a baseball bat? <laughs> it's instantly clear to whom the figure refers. Is it? <laughs> Sorry, do you know who's in this picture? You decide to peel it off the wall for the sake of Bellabog and for your own sake. <laughs> sir, ignore what you just saw. Bop! You saw nothing! You saw nothing, sir! You saw nothing! <laughs> 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 
He saw nothing. <laughs> no, no, I'm coming. I'm coming in right now. Uh, it's the radiator. Radiator fixers, we're here. No, 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 it's the radiator fixers. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, I'm the radiator fixers. Oh, okay. Alright, be safe here. Serval! I love Serval. Soundproofing and barely anyone comes in. Just what crime did you commit exactly? Uh, we, a bunch of guards we beat up a bunch of the guards. Down. It's unprecedented. Now they're patrolling the whole city, and everyone's in a panic. Oh, also, we beat up housekeeping in the hotel. I forgot about that. Uh, but they may or may not have been a demon. Oh, we just... Not yet, March. Rania said we could trust you completely. You mean to say you don't? Trust me completely. No, no, I trust you completely. Good. That's smart of you. But you need I mean, no, totally, we don't we totally don't trust you completely. It was her that ejected me from the architects. We're totally not one of my favorite waifus in the game so far. I don't believe you guys would do anything bad. And the architects are going to need conclusive and publicly available evidence for me to think otherwise. Besides, I know the architects, and if they did have any evidence, they would have released Who are the architects? I know Kokolia's style. Get everyone into a frenzy first. Most people in a frenzy don't stop to ponder the details. <laughs> you could say that. We were like sisters once, inseparable. Of course, that was all before she became the supreme guardian. These days, I just spend my time fixing things in this workshop and playing music. It's a pretty carefree existence. It sounds nice. She's an she's an awesome character so far. I mean, we haven't seen her much in the story so far. Boring you all with sob stories from the past. I need to level her up more. Let's go back to you guys. If long lost Branya told you to so come, we can actually you use must her. have something important to tell me. You can trust me. I know our paths have only crossed once before, but my intuition tells me you guys are good people. And I've got good intuition, by the way. <laughs> Ooh, I'm the best storyteller. Let me. No, 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 I will tell the story. Uh, try not to embellish the facts. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, telling Sarah about your time in the underworld and what you know about the Stellaron and showing her the letter. So that's what's been happening. No wonder we hadn't heard from Branya recently. Yeah, I think Branya's in trouble. After I'm all concerned what's happening. And without a single word from below, this is what's become of the underworld? I believe you. There's no way you could have invented all those twists and turns. What's more, we have Miss Zila here as living proof. As for the Stellaron, I know why Branya got you to find me. When I was still one of the architects working in the scientific research division, I was researching the Stellaron. I never thought I'd hear that word again after being expelled by the architects. Oh. Come on. I'll tell you everything. Okay, tell me everything. I'm ready. Only a very few people in Bellabog know of the existence of the Stellaron. Those that do would never associate it with the Fragmenta or Eternal Freeze. But according to the data recorded in that robot, Sparrow, the architects dug out the truth long ago. The research results were purposely hidden away to ensure that the outside world would never know of them. Just my luck. 
Out of all the research topics I could have chosen, I insisted on the Stellaron. It's clear now that anyone who wanted to get closer to the truth would have been expelled or abandoned. Maybe I should be thanking Kakolia. All she did was push me out. She could have decided to take a more permanent measure. Yeah, she seems crazy. Kakolia. It's been so many years since we last spoke. We were great friends once. There was nothing we wouldn't share. She became a completely different person when she took. I feel like she's being controlled. The convictions she once held, her enthusiasm. It was like they were drawn out of her by some mysterious force. What does that mean about us? Because we have a stellar run inside of us. She gave the order to expel me herself and refused to see me. I never understood that behavior, and I gave up trying to use logic to work it out a long time ago. Sometimes I even wonder whether she really did become a different person. Is that possible? Perhaps there's a single guardian consciousness that gets handed down from generation to generation. And the real Kukolia has already vanished. Yeah, maybe that's just the stellar one. Is she being compelled by previous generations of guardians to make such baffling decisions? <sighs> Who knows? But this might make for good songwriting material. I figured out that the Stellaron and the Fragmentum were linked, so I was already close to the truth. It's a shame that the Architects ejected me before I could discover that the source of the Fragmentum was the Stellaron itself. Before I lost my position, I was applying for permission to survey the Stellaron directly. It was my research topic, but I'd never even set eyes on it. Where is it? My research was all based on historical data and lab simulations. Not long after I submitted my preliminary report and application, I received my punishment. It was obvious that somebody didn't want my research to continue. <laughs> Japard? Not a chance. He's a decent guy, but also famously uncompromising. Oh, so he's not going to help us. For my brother, orders are more important than anything. Even if you stuck Branya's letter to his forehead, he wouldn't be swayed. What if I hit him with a baseball bat several times? You need to choose your words carefully. Just, you, you know, persuade him of something. Out of curiosity, it asking for a friend. I talk to him. Though I'd need a strategy first. Uh, I have a baseball bat, uh, or I have a friend with a baseball bat. <clears throat> Not me specifically. It's a friend. Yes. I never observed it directly, but I used lab simulations and outbound surveys to establish a rough location. According to the survey results, the Stellaron is likely to the north of Bellabog, somewhere in the vast snow plains. Okay, so it's out there. Oh, see, I thought it was going to be somewhere where the Kakolia was. We must locate it as soon as possible, ideally before Kakolia takes action. Can you tell us the way? Not a problem. I was thinking the same thing. But I'm afraid telling you might not be enough. What's that mean? The area to the north of Bellabog has been more or less swallowed up by the Fragmentum. Oh. If you want to get to the northern snow plains, you'll need to get past the Silvermane Guard restricted zone on the front lines first. Eh, that's probably not a problem. We'll just you beat him up. If you get past the restricted zone in one piece, you'll have a whole heap of Fragmentum to deal with. Correct. And it's different from the underground towns you described. The Fragmentum there has quite literally torn everything to pieces. There's no sign of life, despite the monsters. It sounds like the three of us and Zila might not be enough. Why don't we go back underground and get Wildfire to come with us? I fear we may not have the time. Hey, enough pessimism. Back in my official capacity days, I spent a lot of time in the north. I got to know the soldiers and officers on the front line very well. This calls for brainwaves. Oh, not brainwaves. Brain How about I take you over myself? Okay. Really? Great. Phew. Less scary if someone you know is leading the way. <laughs> I want to see the Stellaron too, you know. 
It was my research topic for over a decade. You don't get that many decades in life. That's settled then. There's no time to lose. We should head out as soon as you're ready. I'm ready. Here we go. We're headed out. Uh oh. Who's that? D darn it. I forgot my brother said he'd be around today. Oh. Well, Find this makes it easier. Quick. Uh, remember my baseball bat strategy? Oh, I guess we're not going to do my baseball bat strategy. Depart! It's you. I didn't think you'd have the time to visit with things so tense on the front line. <laughs> Servo, act natural. You're not acting natural. Things are manageable. The latest wave of monster attacks has slowed. I'm back in the city to take care of a few matters, but I'll be back on the front line later. I thought I told you. Ah! Oh, yes. That's right. Sis, you look a bit pale. Did something happen? Oh, well, nobody no. here gets much Why sun. Would anything have happened? It's uh, very cold in a frozen tundra, so nobody gets much sun here. You don't normally use my full name. What does she usually call you? Uh, you said you hate it when I call you bro in public. Well, I agree. <laughs> Everyone is Down Norwegian. Using your full name. <laughs> bro. Brosif, no. No, never, never call anyone Brosif. PSA of the evening. Never, 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 ever call anyone Brosif. Ever. No one ever wants to be called Brosif. You can call me whatever you like. <laughs> no, Megan. All, I'm no. Here on official business today. <laughs> no. Something wrong with the barrier generator device. PSA of the evening. I don't know how to fix it. I need you to take a look. Those guys can't think outside the box. Of course they can't wrap their heads around <laughs> No. <design. sighs> I thought it was <sighs> Leave it here. I'll take a look. Sorry to trouble you. Why are you being so polite? Oh, and why is the city under curfew all of a sudden? Has something happened? I... I've been instructed to keep it quiet. Lil' Jeppy. So grown up now, looking down on his civilian sister. Don't say that. Ah, forget it. If I don't tell you, Pela will. Who's Pela? Last night, Lady Bronya suddenly appeared. She entered Klopoth Fort without saying anything to anyone. What? The Supreme Guardian is worried that the three intruders may have followed Bronya out of the Fragmentum and back into the administrative district. She issued a curfew for the entire city and ordered us to pursue and capture any suspicious individuals. Ruh -ruh. Ah, so that's how it is. No wonder I haven't heard from Bronya. Is she all right? I'm not sure. She hasn't left Klopoth Fort. The Supreme Guardian just said she'd returned. Nothing more. Uh-oh, Bronya's in trouble. <laughs> well, I was sure worried about her. After she disappeared, Pela's workload doubled. She said she barely had time to go out. She really does tell you everything. Oh, by the way, I left my Goethe Hotel limited edition flask behind last time I was here. Let me have a look for it. Uh-oh. I think I left it over. Uh-oh. Wait. What is it? You seem pretty off today, Serval. It's, um, right. You remember how you neglected all those flowers to death? I piled them all over there during a bit of spring cleaning, and now they smell terrible. So, don't go over there. Seems like a strange reason not to take a look. Plus, am I supposed to believe you were spring cleaning? You must be up to more forbidden research. Uh, am not! How dare you! What do you take your sister for? Never mind. This is your space, and I shouldn't intrude. I've got business to take care of. Bye for now. Uh, hey, wait a sec. Uh, those intruders. I wanted to ask, what crime have they committed? 
They're plotting to overthrow the architects and bring harm to the city. Huh. I don't think we are. The accusations against me. Kokolia's methods haven't changed. Don't say that, Serval. I know that you're still nursing a grievance against the Supreme Guardian, but this isn't a joking matter. You're telling Sounds like me a again? whole load of bullshit Whatever, to me. Bro. You better be going. Come listen to Pela in my next rehearsal. I will, if I have. Who's Pela? The coast is clear. You can come out now. Hello. Hello. Don't. I'm not Brosif. Megan. I'm not Brosif. The PSA of the evening is that we don't. You don't call people Brosif. I almost lost my cool when he went for his. Oh, that was. What they were talking to me. This is bad. Brong is in danger. We have to go save her. Attempting to storm Klipoth Fort by ourselves? Forget it, Zila. I don't care how skilled you are, I'm not sending you on a suicide mission. Rest assured, Kokolia may have changed over the years, but she never hurt Branya. I'm certain. Mm, I'm pressing X to doubt and also this advance the dialogue. Branya herself. I don't get it. You guys are against Kokolia, and yet in some ways, you seem to trust her completely. I was gauging his reactions just now. Did you see? Unless we have irrefutable evidence, he won't question Kokolia's orders. If you go after him now, our plan's as good as over. Come on, let's go to the restricted zone. If we can get ahead of the curve and find the Stellaron, Kokolia will be out of options. Is Branya really safe? I don't think so. Her, huh? I we think she's in trouble. Uh, close is a bit much. We're running right down the but middle of like I Main Street. Promise. Relax. She's the strongest girl I've ever seen. <sighs> I can believe that. So they've jacked up security, all right. How the heck are we gonna sneak in? So uh -oh. all, we need one of those brain waves. Leave it to me. Stick close, guys, and don't get spotted. Hey! <laughs> this is a military base. Trespassers aren't allowed in. Do they not realize that we're the wanted people? Wait, isn't that <laughs> Serval? Long time no see. Well, if it isn't Franz, long time no see. You still watching the entrance? Well, you see, I... yeah, you haven't changed, Serval. Still nailing us to the wall. What, is, what does that mean? What does, what does that mean? What, <laughs> what does, what does that mean? <laughs> So, what brings you over here at this hour? And who are the guys behind you? Hi, I'm wanted. I mean, no, I'm totally not wanted. My brother said the restricted zone energy lines were malfunctioning. Told me it was urgent. He doesn't trust those contracted maintenance workers. So, he got me in for free. These guys are my assistants. We need to overhaul all the installations here. Uh, I didn't hear anything about the energy lines malfunctioning. Oh. Please, this is a technology division issue. Why would they tell you guys? Come on, let us in already. If the heating system goes down in the middle of the night, are you going to be responsible for all the frozen corpses? Oh. N no, that's uh, not something I could handle. <sighs> Seeing as you're Captain Japard's sister, it should be fine. Yeah, it'll totally be fine. Okay. Here's Ignore that thing I said about being wanted. Oh, and remember to give them back to me when you leave. Thanks, Franz. I'll put in a good word for you with my brother and get him to promote you. No, no, Captain Japan. We're, we're from space, so stuff. I guess we're not uh, a. This is an entire frozen planet that's like an ice cube planet. 
we're from space, so I guess we're not uh, affected by um, the cold in the same way. Hashtag waifu game logic. <laughs> Hi, hello, hello. Um, you know that wanted person you're looking for that there's like posters up around town that look like they were drawn by a kindergartner? Hey, that's me. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go infiltrate your bed. Oh, look, treasure. Is that all? Hi, still me. See, that was easy. You're Japard's sister, all right. Oh, hi, I shouldn't let them see my baseball bat. Hey, you know that person you're looking for that you drew a baseball bat? Totally not me. Do you see that mechanical gear bridge? Yeah. When you cross over to the other side, you arrive at hell on earth. Oh, hell on earth. Hmm. It's a place too cold to bear. Covered in snow and ice. The guys doing the scientific research don't have time to worry about the surroundings. Should I put pants on? Because right now I'm in a mini skirt. Should I have packed pants? Or maybe like long sleeves? No? I'm good? Okay. The restricted zone frontline is on the other side of the gear bridge. It's an endless fragmentum with a few restricted zone guards and the stench of death in the air. Oh. If we want to progress further north, we will need to cross that hill. Are you ready? Exactly. I guess I'm ready. Got nowhere left to retreat. Nowhere left to retreat. In my mini skirt. Let's go then. First, we need to have a way to get to the other side. I help set the underlying mechanisms for this type of gear bridge. It's controlled via different terminals in combination. Let's go find them. Is Japard on frontline duty a lot? Yes, but oh, hi. what made you ask? Are we gonna fight? Are we fighting? It's no. So dangerous. Don't you worry about him? He's a Landau. <sighs> nope. This terminal's offline. We can't control it from here. So what's the plan? Look for another. Every platform linked to the gear bridge should have a similar terminal. I never would have guessed that Japard and you were brother and sister. I can't say I blame you. We're nothing alike in personality or interest. In our family, we have a strong military tradition going back generations. Many a Landau has died in their prime. Ooh, puzzles. It's not a lot of brother and sister time. Everyone just does their best to get on with their life. obstacles in the way please clear the path uh what obstacles where are the obstacles GM for leveling up. All right, we got Dr. Ratio at max level for right now.
Darn! Can't activate it. Seems like someone severed the energy supply to the terminals. I... Huh. You know, the more I think about it, the more it seems deliberate. Uh-oh. With the front line on high alert, they must have rotated the bridge to make it impassable. Then they cut off the energy supply to the terminals to avoid accidental repositioning. Or to prevent deserters from escaping. Mm. That way, even if the front line were to collapse, the fragmentum monsters wouldn't be able to make it to the other side. Branya was right. The Silvermane guards really are risking their lives to protect Bellabok. Just my conjecture, but I doubt it's far from the truth. My brother mentioned that they've had to use extreme measures to repel the Fragmentum monsters. Let's press on. We can't activate either of these terminals, so let's look for the energy supply installation itself. Okay. Maybe some pants. Oh, that's a big boy. Hi. I have a feeling we're not going to find pants, though. fight no y'all don't care that we're here are they eventually gonna get pissed that we're here and we're gonna have to fight them Yeah, but there's a button right next to us. Its formal name is the Mechanism Energy Hub. It's connected to all the energy lines. I would have thought it covers the entire restricted zone. Mm. No wonder it's so heavily guarded. Yeah, we just push the button, the gate opens. One unit for everything? That's a disaster waiting to happen. We learned the hard way. As long as we can gain access permissions to the hub, we can operate the gear bridge terminals. Yeah, just boop the button. That's why I told them we were here for urgent maintenance. The frontline equipment needs servicing just as much as the rest. So that's why you went for maintenance. Way to go, Sir Vol. I thought you just came up with it on the spot. Come on. Let's see if that guard over there will let us pass. You can't just boop the button. Boop. Boop. Oh. We don't have the control. Yo, evening soldier. Are you the emergency engineers? I saw you guys hanging around. Did you find the problem? Yeah, the problem's behind that gate. It's also, the main problem is wearing mini skirts and shorts. It's very cold. Not yet. Everything looks normal so far. I think the problem is stemming from the energy hub. If you let us in, we can do a routine service inspection. I've worked on various iterations of this type of installation. <laughs> no, 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 no. No can do. No one gets near the energy hub without the security captain's encryption key. What does this guy sound like they just cut some random person off the street to do the voice acting? Uh, not even the Supreme Guardian? The Supreme Guardian? Hey, no games, you hear? No dice without the encryption key. Ah, uh, darn. This guy's not stupid. He clearly knows that we're not the Supreme Guardian. <laughs> Encryption key, right? Which captain should I bother then? Uh, uh, captain Dunn's resting up ahead. Go and find him. If he grants you permission, I won't stand in your way. Uh, Dunn? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? No problem. We'll be back in a bit. Do we know them? Do we know Captain Dunn. Are you Captain Dunn? Who's Captain Dunn? Captain Dunn! 
You Captain Dunn? Do you know Captain Dunn? Who's Captain Dunn? Are you Captain? Oh, I'm guessing hey, he's Captain Dunn. Dunn. It's been a while. I didn't know you made security, Captain. Saval, it's been a long time. You're still so... <clears throat> you look good. I feel like they have a history. I feel like there's a story here. Also, I feel like his neck would be really tired. That looks like a really heavy helmet. Allow me to introduce my assistants to you. They help me take care of business at the workshop. <laughs> this is quite the ragdag crew to be like, yeah, these are, uh, these are my engineers. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, Pete and, uh, Susan. Uh, Susan's definitely dressed for uh, repairing uh, electrical conduits. Uh, this is, uh, uh, you know, you see, this is her wrench pouch uh, here on her arm. And uh, Pete here has a, a whole bunch of uh, engineering supplies. He used to be an ace on the keys in the band. All of all of my my assistants wear mini skirts on the job. Oh, you play rock and roll too? Cool. Pleased to meet you. Something smells weird. Why? Why is that what? Why is that a dialogue option? Why is Jolene just low-key throwing shade at everybody? <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, Zachary, how many days has it been since you showered? <laughs> Zachary. <laughs> Damn it, Zachary. <laughs> Welcome Raiders, side guy! <laughs> Welcome, wow, we apparently just found out that Zachary has not showered in several days. Hey yo, everybody! Welcome, we just found out that Zachary, the, the guard standing next to this big guy, has apparently not showered in several days. Big revelation. We just had the biggest revelation of Honkai Star Rail. Zachary has not showered in several days, and my character just called him out for it. Uh, I showered right before my shift. I'm calling. I'm calling bullshit on that, Zachary. Calling bullshit. I can smell you from over here. Hmm? What did you say? I can smell you from over here, Zachary. I can smell you from over here. I. I haven't showered in two days. That's so what I thought, Zachary. That's exactly what I thought. Who did the writing for this game or the translating for this game? <sighs> That's what I thought, Zachary. Unacceptable. That's Unacceptable. That's right. Unacceptable. That's okay. That's okay. Commander, Captain, President Dunn. I forget what your title was. I actually wasn't paying attention. It's not a big deal, Dunn. <laughs> you know, if you <laughs> chance, that my character just looks like again? she's disassociating in the background. She's got like the deadest eyes. She just looks like she's dead inside. <laughs> Jolene absolutely looks like she's dead inside. <laughs> Guy, how was your stream, my friend? I'm so sorry. <laughs> 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 she can't stand the smell of Zachary. <laughs> My keyboard is pretty good, but I still miss our military days playing in the band. <laughs> oh, that was a long time ago, Serval. I haven't touched a keyboard in ages. Besides, I'm stationed here all year round. I'm afraid I don't get many chances to return to the city. Though I don't stand on ceremony. Uh, how may I assist you? If everything's in order, you'd better head back to the city. It's not safe here. No, it's the only reason it's not safe here is Zachary. Zachary's got to hit the showers. Get him in the showers ASAP. 
right to the showers, Zachary. Right after this conversation ends, to the showers. I've checked the lines. There don't seem to be any major problems. All that's left is the energy hub. The guard over there said that I needed an encryption key to open the gate. Can you help me out? Uh... Don't be hesitant in front of your dream girl. <laughs> Jolene has no chill. Jolene has zero, zero chill. Absolutely zero chill. <laughs> Choices. <laughs> and her face when, when she says it. She just looks dead inside. <laughs> Anything wrong done? Uh, sorry, Serval, but can you tell me what Captain Jappard told you? Huh? Oh, uh, let me think. Hey, sis, the energy supply lines in the restricted zone have malfunctioned. Those useless engineers can't find the problem. Something like that? And may I ask, when did he contact you? Uh, this morning? Yeah, that's right. He's on urban patrol duty today, right? That's why he popped round and asked the favor. Aha. Uh -huh. Captain Jappard just returned to the front line. I could reconfirm with him. Huh? Uh, hold up, he's back? Uh, that can't be. He was still in the city a little while ago. <sighs> you haven't changed, Serval. You're still a lousy liar. These people you've brought, they're... They're not workshop assistants, right? Uh-oh. Uh, -oh. uh, uh what gave it away? Was it the mini skirts? Uh, or was it me, uh... Wasn't me calling out Zachary for uh, being smelly. Serval, it's not that I don't want to help you, but you should remember that I'm a Bellabog Silvermane guard. How about this? You can leave, and I won't tell anyone about this incident. But the outsiders must remain. Uh, I mean, you could try and keep us here, but we're just going to beat you up. And especially beat up Zachary. There goes the negotiation. brought you guys here and I'm standing with you till the end. Dunn, this concerns the fate of Bellabog. No, the fate of our whole world. Please, don't stand in our way. Serval! We used to rehearse together every day, you must understand. Now we can rehearse a fight together. My rock and roll soul is to uphold the dignity of a soldier. We're gonna uphold the dignity of kicking your butt. Butt kicking time! Cue the battle music! Uh, <laughs> pure, pure cheese! <laughs> I don't think she was gonna date him anyway. <laughs> I think the chances of uh, of him getting a date were very slim either way. Need I teach someone a lesson? Think! <laughs> <laughs> Nap time. You have the worst luck running into me. Watch this. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Wait, don't call more friends. Wait, no, what, what do you need them for? Hey, you don't need them. What are you calling them in for? Let's test your knowledge. Fail. Get out. Just give it 
time for a shot. <laughs> Not bad. My turn. Five points. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's make it quick. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Oh, killed some of your friends. Oh, no, we killed Zachary. Oh, now Zachary's never going to get that shower. Oh, no. Zachary's going to smell forever now. Naughty children, don't listen. All better now? Oh, thanks a lot. You can't run. Anything now, Zachary's going to smell worse because he's a corpse. To me. <sighs> Let's go. <gasps> you can't run. I'm asking the questions. <laughs> so Chris just nap. Yeah, yeah, he's totally just napping. <laughs> he's totally not dead. Think. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Take this. Oh no, Zachary 2.0. Rules are made to be broken. You got to you're welcome. Stop. Oh, all of your all of your friends have been dealt with. It's just, Knowledge it's just you and us now. Things. It reveals truth. And I think it's, I think it's just gonna be us soon. Oh no, you're still alive. Oh, he's calling more friends. Here stands the Silverman Guard. Oh, well. Does his friends just run away? Wait, after we beat him up, does his friends just run away? His friends just run away after we beat him up. I'm sorry, Dunn. Time for a little nap. <laughs> he's just unconscious. Don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. We totally didn't kill him. Now, Zachary, on the other hand, he's not coming back for Honkai Star Rail 2. <laughs> Stubborn fool. Strong, though. Wildfire lacks people like him. Got it. The encryption key. Quick, before we attract attention, let's... Fight everybody else here. I think we attracted attention. That's the enemy attack alarm. Every Silvermane guard in the reserve zone just became our enemy. Yeah. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> My life was short, but it was a life built with... <laughs> Ah, I'm sure we'll be fine. We've made it up till now. I could lose an arm and a leg for all I care. I have to lay eyes on the Stellaron. Quick, back to the energy supply hub. Anyone that tries to stop us is gonna find out a thing or two. Yeah. If I'd known he had the encryption key from the start, I could have snuck in and taken it off him myself. Shoulda, coulda, woulda seen. Shit. Activating the gear bridge alone would have been enough to expose us. Oh hi! Uh, hi! Oh hi! 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 It's us. <laughs> They're all just talking like, "Who goes there? Who? Who? Who goes there? Who? Who goes there?" <laughs> <laughs> Oh, y'all are weak. Y'all should have just not, should have just kind of looked the other way. I told you I could fight. Gotta try hard sometimes. 
Check out this awesome move! your knowledge. Zero points. Next. Y'all are so weak. Time for a shot. You're in bad shape. Let's make it quick. Never stop thinking. Naughty children, don't listen. S.A.S. Perkippi. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. Do you have answers? Let's test your knowledge. Fail. Get out. Oh my god. <laughs> Time for a shot. <laughs> Let's go. They were so weak. Are they all really this all really weak like this? Reach the end of the story in your own way. Ha! I'm asking the questions. Never stop thinking. <laughs> That'll take more than medicine. Savor the vigor of that. Stay right there while I give you a present. Let's make it quick. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. He's gonna blow up. Oh, don't put a barrier up. Do you have answers? You're in bad shape. Okay, then down. Oh, hi. Let's test your knowledge. Zero points. Next. SAS Perkippi. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. Favor the vigor of <laughs> You have the worst luck running into me. <sighs> Fail. Get out. You stand. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Never stop thinking. Naughty children, nap time. My turn. And this gonna be round two. Oh, who's that guy? Oh, he's a beefy boy. I'm asking the questions. Let's test your knowledge. <laughs> Time for a shot. Savor the vigor of I told you I could fight. Watch this. <laughs> Rules 
are made to be broken. Do you have answer? I think I may be over level. Like the end of kicking the everybody's butt. We're in. We're in. It's open. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Dunn. Why are we thanking Dunn? We only got the key card because we beat up Dunn. Looks good. Dunn didn't willingly.